Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to our on-time and correct stream. Yes, do not believe the lies in chat that we are some, what, 12 hours late? No, 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 no. Of course not. Simple misunderstandings of the willfully misled. Let's not move that. That's supposed to be there. When can I lock that? I can. Why haven't I locked that in place already? That's a fantastic question. As we continue to struggle with the trials and tribulations of, uh, of streaming, it seems. You'd think I'd got a basic grasp on this at this point, but you would be incorrect. All right. We are about to play uh, the Dark Souls of Horror Games, are we? I should probably trigger someone. <laughs> Dead Space. Yes, indeed. I did say after um, the bunker that I would play more um, horror games if uh, chat put its money where its mouth was. And uh, that most certainly happened with Dead Space. Uh, quicker than I'd hope, than I'd entirely hoped for, frankly, via anonymous donation this time. So here we are. Dead Space. I've heard much about this game. I know less than little. Uh, but I do know that there are uh, power armor in the game, and that there are Xenos. So I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly, frankly. Ah, console controls. My heavens. Well, that'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. Gosh. There's also a little chat poll we've got going. Somebody suggested face cam for this, and... I mean, I can I can see the desire for horror games, so we'll leave the uh, we will leave the poll up and running for the day, and we'll uh, we'll see if chat truly knows what chat wants, or if chat is merely making weird noises. It might. Chat chat is known for making weird noises on occasion. Uh, Noah R donates fifty dollars before we even got started. Thank you very much, sir. Um, that was many hours ago, I'm presuming. I'm very sorry. <laughs> and he sends a little Shiba Inu, Inu uh, emote. Uh, Onu says, not that scary. Punctuation mark. I don't know what to think about that. And the whole said, don't five dollars. Thank you very much, both of you. To say, Arch, I feel so bad for when, where the aliens landed for you in Ted and Victor. For me, they landed in China under my control and immediately died. Good luck. Well, that's good at least. I'm hoping for that to happen to me too. Uh, right. Okay. How does uh, how does one um, service guarantees citizenship? How does one navigate? How does one navigate? Okay, we'll have to keep a little bit of an eye on the. I'll just move that up there so I can keep an eye on the stream. Uh, I we've have I have lost. Raise the brightness by ten because YouTube tends to murder that. So we'll see if that'll be good enough, so that somebody can actually see what's happening as we begin to dive right in here. Isaac Clarke. That's the main character, I think. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Isaac, it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. Hello, Isaac. I elected I'm to sorry. zoom in on my eyeball. I'm sorry about everything. Who are you? Oh, I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. You are very old. Are you my mother? I'm presuming this is Isaac's mother. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat. Guess you really miss her. Fishermer is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only vid calls? It's rough. I really like Isaac's my mother, I guess. Thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen well, to good facial you. animations. Oh, girlfriend. Oh, okay. Well, it could still be my mother, I suppose, if I live in certain parts of the world, but... I feel as if I've I've downgraded quite badly here. I feel like Clark could uh, could do better, honestly. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now, where is she? Over there, by the blinking lights, I presume. Contact with USG Ishimura. Ishimura. Oh, what Japanese. You? Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. 
Heresy. Oh, probably because it's infected by monsters, I presume. Someone's got to be waiting up for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your files? I have, I have lost. I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks with Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Mm, come in, giant monster sandwich. Come in. Ishimura, do you copy? Come Can in. I get some this clicking noises from it? Some screams, maybe? A hurried transmission going. Ah! No. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. Yeah, it sounds like monster sounds okay. Busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Yeah, or their phone isn't working. That's an option too, I guess. Yeah, I hope so. See, at one point, I would love to play a horror game where you just arrive and they're just like, yeah, uh, our relay antenna is out. And you get sent into a dark hole and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, I am gonna die, actually. And then you switch out a circuit, then you leave, and it's like, nothing happened. Like, hey, thanks, dude. Patch on the back, send you back home. Not today, though. Do I have a seatbelt on? I don't. Oh, I'm gonna go fly. Ah, yes, armor to the front windshield. That way I'll have something nice and hard to hit when I get catapulted out of my seat. Okay, well that worked out pretty well. Everyone okay? I'm good. I'll live. Hey Johnston, you alright? It's my ankle. I'd be broken. Well, bitch, get over Shit. it. She's a broken ankle. Or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calm her down. We lost poor booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and singularity core is a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Ah, oh, there we go. I got a helmet now. I feel severely unprotected, considering I, I've got a reasonable so idea of what's, what's ahead of me here. Follow the security team. Tab, view missions. Uh... Forgot something? How's the ankle? Heresy's the yeah, how's the ankle? Fire is the answer. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've had worse. You go on. I'll get it strapped up. Like, bitch, it's just an ankle. Like, you, you, you can walk. Like, it's fine. It's not that bad. Ooh. Looks quite pretty. Oh, hello. Uh, Isaac was born to Paul and Octavia Clark on Earth in the Eastern Seaboard region of the American Republic. Mm, don't know if I care. My Isaac Clark was born in Norway, like any normal Isaac Clark would be. I feel as I'm missing out on story here, so I should probably follow the team. Hey, Captain, you hear those screeching noises? What is wrong with the... Is that... Is that a lighting effect on the ground there? Huh. Hold on a second. There you go. Kodak Ghost donates uh, to uh, Euros and sends a little Shiba Inu. Thank you very much. Take out the sign. Nichnev, will you stream the Realms of Ruin mission demo? Realms of Ruin mission demo. Oh, that one. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I do not know about that. I played the I played the multiplayer beta. It was pretty awful. We, we will see. Uh, Super Chat reading will be a bit intermittent today, mind you. I'll, uh, I'll do my best to get uh, to it, but I have a feeling this game is going to interrupt me on occasion rather violently. 
Standing. Stand or marks. Okay. Thank you. Rig synced. Collect kinesis and stasis modules from acting chief engineer Jacob Temple. Why is my Location. spine glowing? Error. Employee not found. Why is my spine glowing? Is that my like health bar? It's my health bar, isn't it? It's speaking Spanish to me. That's not going to help. Oh, I just forgot. This place is really tiny. I feel like I'm about to smack my head into every single... Oh, yeah, this looks safe and wonderful. What's that? Money. Okay, let me just take that, I suppose. Nobody's going to miss that. Uh, owner's been a member for eight months. Thank you very much for your continued Someone support. Seriously, the scariest creature the chases you is immortal. You can control time and its limbs are destructible. Good luck crawling after me. <laughs> There's nothing logged. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. Oh, I don't know if God's going to have anything to do with this, buddy. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. Oh, yes, right. I have a job and stuff. Uh. Oh, hey, that's a snazzy system. That is a snazzy system, actually, so I don't get lost. That is probably going to be a good thing. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> that is an awfully depressing place right here, I gotta say. Okay, no. Very, uh... Low damage report. Yes, thank you. Well, sir, it seems as if the majority of shit is absolutely fucked. Like the big uh, round purple thing at the back, that one's fucked. The smaller round thing on the top, that one's equally boned. Uh, we've got a square there in the middle, that one's not looking too good either. Uh, we've got a little oblong over there. That one's not doing well. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. That's usually not a good symbol. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. There's something in here. Up there! And the roof there. Oh. Oh, God! Oh, hello. Okay. Well, that looks unfortunate. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, nope, like, okay. Yep, nope, Isaac, run. Okay, okay, fair enough. Oh, boy. Why? This is a little sudden, don't you think? I'm running? Like, what, what did you expect me to do? Oh, am I fine or am I dead? Uh, oh shit. Uh, I'm good. Alright, dramatic burst through. Yep, hello. <laughs> Oh, no, please. Yeah. Okay, a little wet, but other than that, fair enough. <laughs> that was a bit of a sudden intro. I mean, sudden, I was kind of expecting as much, but okay. Uh, right, the video game has gotten aggressive. Um, that could prove a danger, as I don't believe... Uh, do I have any means of self-defense at the moment? I'm randomly clicking buttons. Uh, not so far, no. Uh, kind of a YouTube stop scrolling. <laughs> uh, the real whole saint, known as Fidel, says certain parts of the world that are about to be depopulated quite severely. Tears if he sees her. Nicole is in her late 40s. Her looks make sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, can I? This looks important. Okay, yeah, somebody's having a bad day. So do I. Just bring this box along with us. Uh, Galeas donates a thousand check-in buckaroonies. Uh, thank you very much. That's super generous, my dude. Oh, Arch, how did you know my birthday is in two hours? Thank you. Aside from that, spare some cha chain to tip your artist as well. Chap well deserves it. 
Albine does draw them quite nicely, he does. Right, I have me books. Plasma, cut off their limbs. Alright. I think this is the video game attempting to tell me something about my enemy. I have, I have lost. Shit. Uh, standard issue CEC mining tool. Oh, goody. My primary weapon is an ice pick. Fantastic. Finds precision shots that slight. No, I was doing that. Okay, well, I'm Set sure there was nothing important in there anyways. Um. Oh. That's unexpected function of the jump button, but I'll take it. So. Aha. I figured there'd be funnies in there. Uh, CDC 3092 doing the sweaty dolls. Thank you very much. Melee, uh, punch. Punch. Oh. Okay, so you... Alright, gotta be careful not to punch while you're holding your weapon out. Is there? No. Uh, CDC 4193. Greetings, Arch. Wonder on who would win the fight. A ship full of its crew and a detachment of Imperial Guard forces versus a Necromorph outbreak. Especially if Marker has someone made it into said ship. I haven't the faintest fucking clue. All I know is that Necromorphs, like, they regenerate or something. And the Marker, like, messes with your head. Uh, okay, buddy. I'm, uh... Well, it seems to be locked, buddy, so I guess, uh... Do I shoot it? I mean, it seems a little violent, so I just, like... Oh, okay. Hello, fr Friend. Oh, okay, hello. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, limbs. Wait. Legs. Legs or limbs? Okay, that could have gone smoother. I think I just wasted all of my ammo on a basic bitch fucking enemy. Oh. Alright, less than ideal, but... Hello? Do I get anything? Man, I stomp like a mother... F oh, Jesus. Okay, well... I know they're undead, so I probably shouldn't be leaving corpses behind me. At the very least, not intact corpses. Oh, that looks suspicious. Last time I went near a vent, somebody jumped out of me on it. No? Okay. Hello? Mm. Hello, indeed. Alright, that was just a good old-fashioned jump scare moment, or to draw my attention away from somebody sneaking up behind me. No? I wonder if I... Does that, like, make them not spawn? I don't know if they spawn or not. Uh, Life of Haiku donates a hundred Idra. Greetings, Arch. Uh, no, Arch. Hail Arch, my liege. Here's some ten Australian dollars worth of Monopoly money. Be brave, good sir. And please kindly check the bathroom sign. If you passed one, you would laugh. Hmm. That sounds good. Security request retrieved. It's done. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot his fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! Oh, didn't you read the sign? You gotta shoot their, like, limbs. Otherwise, use a fuck out of luck, sir. Last time you tried to screw me when I opened the door. I don't know if I trust you anymore. Ooh. I don't like this. I don't like the sudden noises! Just, they're everywhere. Shit, is he, uh... He's gone. He's dead. 
Like, no, my boy, he dead. What the fuck are these things? Heresy is the, the question. Fire is the answer. Some of them were wearing <laughs> Ishimura uniforms. Oh, hey. The crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's Thank you for holding up your iPhone, by the way, so I can see what's happening. System. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sure Nicole is fine. I mean, this place doesn't look particularly dangerous or anything. I imagine a woman by herself will survive here just fine. Uh, replace the damage. Replace the damage tram. Optimistic. Hello. Would you like to save? Yes. Galileus has been a member for, uh, has just become a member, actually. Thank you. Congratulations, Galileus. You have joined important ranks today. Of the Chosen. Is that six magazines or is that six bullets? I, I wonder. Always press the glowy bits. The glowy bits are good for you. Okay. I have a choice of paths. Left or right. Hmm. One is completely irrelevant to Miyazi objective. The other might save my friend's life. And so we go left. River Knoll says, I see Hamas got to the Ishimoto as well. Ooh. Oh boy. Alright, well. Cargo arrival. More like monster arrival, I suspect. Dismemberment. Consider a maneuver by dismembering enemy limbs. Cut off limbs, kill them as quickly, dismember enemies, slow them down. Right, the video game is... This is such a fucking ambush point, isn't it? How did I sprint again? How did I sprint again? Shift? I can't tell. Am I moving faster? Hold on. I am. Okay, Service I think so. Guaranteed citizenship. This is such a fucking ambush point. This is such a fucking ambush point. This is such a fucking ambush point. Oh yeah, yeah no, nobody, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I trust that. Behind me. Okay, that looked like you just got back up for a second. You make me paranoid for no reason, video game. Please go away. Uh. Puzzles? Oh, my worst enemy. Okay. Uh, what does that say? Okay. Oh, why the fucking hallway? Can I turn on both of them, or is that like too much power? I imagine that's too much poover. Yes, it's one or the other. Okay, let us continue our pointless exploration in the wrong way. Because that is how progress is made. By actively pushing ahead. But it also said, don't it? Don't say, we, we should have you play this in VR. I don't know if you should, no. I am not certain that's a good idea at all. Isaac, don't well, this looks safe. Those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? 
That's a very philosophical question, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. I knew I heard one coming from over there, too. Ugh. Ah, fuck, I saw a shadow on the wall and it scared me. Okay, die. I don't like how they bounce when you step on them. It makes me think they're getting back up again. I'm using like an entire magazine on each and every one of these guys, which is probably not a wise move. I have to learn how to aim in this video game. I don't know. See, that's actually a very clever... That looks explosive. That's actually a very clever idea from a horror game perspective, though, because that's going to fucking stress you the fuck out, isn't it? It's like, oh, there's a monster trying to eat me. Well, don't just shoot it. You gotta aim. Why, though? Why must you make this difficult for Paris me? Is the question. Fire is the answer. I barely survived the bunker. What makes you think this is a good thing? Uh, Sentinel Rex stones five dollars. Thank you very much. Isaac is immune to the marker signal because he is his own grandfather, like Fry from Futurama. I see. Uh, the video game is placing a large quantity of high explosives on my path. Hello. See, that was that was good. I, I picked up on the game's clues. It was like here. Boom boxes. Oh, oh, shit, shit. No. Didn't pick up on that one. Jesus. Why are there so many of them all of a sudden? Oh, shit, power. Why am I going in this direction? That's a fantastic one. I'm presuming I'm... I, okay, no, no. I know. I'm leveling up. I'm grinding enemies for experience. That's what I'm doing. Oh, hello. Oh, loot. No, I'm resource managing. Why does it keep coming out of the fucking vents? Do they sleep in there? God, why does everything need to make noises? Alright, power. Power go uppy. That means I need to go uppy. Uh, can I go up here? For a moment there, I had this idea. I was like, what if I stomp on the explosive canister? And then I quickly thought to myself, nah. Probably not a good idea. Oh, hey. Chests? Good, good. Everyone loves chests. Already starting to get a little bit. See, the enemies aren't the worst part. You give me a gun and an enemy, I'll be okay. But, like, the I hate the environment. The environment's I have, I have all lost. All like, hey, there's dangerous shit about them. Like, I know. We're gonna make lots of scary noises to remind you that there's dangerous shit around. I feel the irresistible urge to start fucking kneeling for some reason. Hello, vent. Hmm. Life of Haiku says, Arch, here is some more brave money. My first super chat seems to got messed up by Google. Uh, check out the bathroom stuff if you passed one. Bathroom stuff. Okay. Wait, actually, let me minimize... Uh, there we go. Our great old students. Uh, game has storyteller. The more careful and scared you are behaving, the less monster comes at you. Oh, okay. So if I just chill in a corner for 15 minutes, Fire is the answer. <laughs> I should be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that looks fine. Oh, yeah, no. I'm... Oh, yeah, no, that looks... Yeah, no, sure, they are. They're dead. They're dead. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You don't fucking trick me with that one, video game. Come on, this is this is my first video game ever. It's like, there's a ha hallway full of corpses in front of you. Oh, you don't say. Are they dead? Totally. They're very dead, sir. They're absolutely totally dead. Yeah, fuck you, too. Yeah. 
Oh, he didn't drop anything? Oh, you cheeky little... Oh, no, there we go. I expect gifts, at the very least. Oh, stop beat. Thankfully, the residents of the Ishimaru, Ishimura, Ishimara, elected to keep all of their valuables in uh, containers that glow brightly in the dark. This is fortunate for me. I was kind of hoping more of you would come, actually, but... Right, I guess we're doing this the girl. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you... Okay, so they can be dead. Alright. Okay, interesting. Let me waste a shot, you little shit. Wet, lovely noises. Lockers contain to search, uh, contained to search for useful items. Thank you, video game, for allowing me to know that. Is that just powering the... What is that powering? An interpersonal repairs and noise, mission day two, for the server score, stuff and stuff and stuff. Okay. Shit's broken. Shit, shit's busted, bruh. What are you powering, exactly? Like, that doesn't seem to be powering anything. Uh, light. Light? Aww. I really don't want to fucking turn off the lights. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's fun. Yeah, no, that's great. Oh, fantastic. Fucking lovely. <laughs> Michael uh, Nunkovis donates $20. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the years of entertainment since World War I was announced. Here's enough to get the game King of Dragon Pass and a drink. Uh, King of Dragon Pass may make for a good chill stream or arch personal fun. Here's to many more years uh, of Skaven. Thank you very much. I can't help but point out, too, that the game hasn't given me a save point in a while, which I feel is not very fucking kosher, frankly. Ugh. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Will you alone? Nope, you won't. Service guarantees citizenship. Of course it had to be the light. It's like, you want to open that door? Yeah, turn off the lights. Oh. You're telling me this enormous fuck-off space station doesn't have the have power to run the lights and the doors simultaneously. I feel like somebody didn't do a very good fucking job of designing this thing, if I'm to be honest. What, lights and power, sir? Do we, do we look like we're made of money? No. You'll have one or the other. Never both. Stressed already. <laughs> Hello? Heresy's the question. Any mutated Japanese people out here? <laughs> Skip's giving me a fucking phobia of events, I swear to God. Uh. Okay. Hello, corner. Oh, boy. Uh, hold on. Is that an explosive thing? It was! Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ha-ha, bitch! You were trying to distract me, weren't you? I was like, look, there's an enemy over there. He's like, yeah. There's probably going to be an enemy to my back, too. I am too clever for you, video game. I am too fucking intelligent. You present me with a threat to the front. I'm gonna go hide in the corner like the woman I am. It's not gonna be that easy. Mmm. Survival instincts. Strong. Manly survival instincts. What is that? Uh, a pancake. Good. I don't know why we're collecting pancakes in the future, but we are. Poker invitation. Keeping this off, Riglink, in case Benson listening, you were in for poker night, or are you going to let Caitlin keep walking around with your credits? 
heresy is oh, the question. I think Caitlin Fire might get an answer. accident. <laughs> oh, yeah, at least they've got receptacles for waste. That's good. A data board. Oh, hey, that was the thing was centered. It's fine. Oh. Isaac, Thank you. We can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Oh, you don't say. Done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay, Daniels, watch that door. Upgrade your equipment. Sure. Uh, Carl Forever asks, how goes the repelling of the Swedes from the ship? We, it is underway. We are making an active effort. And Obdulio, don't three doors, seems to be doing well art. I know how horror games are really your thing, but you're playing, playing quite well so far. Honestly, when it comes to horror games, Dead Space isn't all that scary. It's more action with horror skin, much like Resident Evil 4. I think I prefer that, honestly. A bunker was an uncomfortable experience to me. Uh, TFC, sir, can we expect clips by Discordia in the future? Uh, maybe? I'm hoping so, yeah. Um, if anything, you should start, you should, like, send me the clips, uh, on Twitter, for example. My Twitter should be in the description down below, I hope. Uh, if there, if you see anything clip-worthy, uh, feel free to send it to me on uh, Twitter, my DMs. Their DMs are always open. So, John, uh, don't two euros. Buzzsaw Laundry is best gun, best ammo economy, I see. And uh, Judah Cricket, ten dollars, thank you very much. Remove limb, stumble left, rinse repeat, just pretend you're the last guard of them dealing with a ship overrun with chaos. That should make things all better. And Jack the Alcays donates five dollars. Hail Arch has five USD for a fresh pair of underpants. I can't wait for you to get to the ship on board plan. Parenthood, good luck. Don't die. On board plan parenthood. Uh-huh. Uh, right, to return to... Ah! Okay, so the pancake I picked up was actually like upgrade economy. Um, all right. Suit, uh, health, oxygen, stasis duration, stasis zone, stasis energy, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, damage capacity, reload time, rate of fire. Um, I don't like the fact that it's telling me that I have oxygen limitations. I feel as if that's going to be a <laughs> game mechanic at some point, weirdly enough. I mean, the plasma kit is pretty good, but is da does damage matter if you got to shoot off their limbs? So, uh, how much capacity? Oh, okay, so you got to, like, re-upgrade it in a certain order, do you? Right, well, I like the, uh, ha the idea of having a weapon that works, and that costs one pancake. Okay. And it does now 10 more points. Does that matter? D does that matter, chat? Does it actually, like, 10 points of damage? Is 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 that a thing? Do they do they hit points apart? I'm presuming they, they do. Oh. Oh, hey. You're, like, crawling and shit. That's weird. Did I just have my back to event? I did. Oh, jeez. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> the good old one-two punch. One distracts, the other comes behind and bounds you. Right, where was I going? Uh, that way, apparently. I'm very grateful for all of the high explosive containers they placed all over the ship, though. They were very, very useful. Almost as if they expected this to happen. Then. Don't you fuck with me. Oh! Yeah, I was about to say, I don't remember killing you. Mother. Fucker. Where's Brody's? I knew that was gonna happen too. I was looking at it, like I don't remember killing you. Heresy's the question. I think you're a Fire sneaker. <laughs> and yes, it was a sneaker. Oh goody, back out to ambush alley again. <sighs> Motherfucker. Uh, 
I do remember killing you. Okay, I guess we're gonna turn on the lights again now then. Uh-huh. You're trying to distract me from something again, aren't you? I don't trust this fucking video game. I don't trust this fucking video game one bit. Mother, you... Fuck you, that cost me a shot, you little... Goddamn bitch ass. <sighs> Semiconductor, I don't know what that is. But it's probably valuable. God damn it. I know, pancake, good. Game is already having me waste ammunition. I don't like wasting ammunition, especially not in a game where I have a sneaking suspicion that ammo is gonna be very much so my life. Oh. I am just dragging a piece of metal along the floor along with me. Fine. Wonderful. Ah, this place. This was the safe place. Nothing will ever burn out of me here, right? <sighs> God damn it. Thank you, Memca Memcam. Don't worry. We've uploaded a picture of you in the, uh, the ship's internal selfie monitor. Even if you get brutally dismembered by a monster now... You'll be fine, because we'll remember you. Error. Damage tram on track. Contact maintenance immediately. Well, that'll be me then. Huh? Huh? Uh huh. This is normally the point at which I'd be turning the fuck around, but... Okay, it just, it just fell loose because of the little jolt. It's fine. Hey, it looks like a soldier dude, too. I wish he had a soldier dude weapons on him, but... Such is life. Mm-hmm. Something tells me that there's going to be something significantly larger than the spiky boy variants aboard the ship. Security clearance level one required. Are you sure? Why shouldn't we unlock the doors now? Actually, that'd be... No, that'd be your time. I was about to say, like, hey, there's an emergency situation. Unlock all the doors. Yeah, but there's... Like, there's more, more homicidal monsters walking about. You sure we want to unlock everything? Nah, fair enough. It's a pretty good point. Stasis recharge. Glowy thing. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, sure. Uh. Stasis module. Stasis will slow down enemies and fast moving objects. Hold to aim, hold plus C U stasis. Uh huh. Yeah, status recharge. Oh. Bringing the door malfunction between you and the maintenance bay. Can you fix it? Nope. No, but I found a stasis module. If I'm faster than... I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This this is perfect. Let me just... Let me just trust my life to this blue glowy stick I found off some dead person's hands. I'm sure that'll be fucking fine. I don't know about that. Some can feel a little bit nervous, but if you say so. I have, I have lost. And Xenomorph in three, two, one. No? No? You distracting me from something, video game? I see you have a glowy bit there. 
Are you trying to take my eyes off something? You are, aren't you? Game is making me paranoid. Just a little bit. Or new donors twenty dollars says this game was made for twelve year olds, Arch. <laughs> Just some fucking brave twelve year olds, I'll tell you. <sighs> see, this is the reason why I'm like, if chat wants to see horror games, chat's gonna have to Then the game started whispering ominously to me. Fucking fantastic. That's what I, that's what I required. A little bit of scary whisperings. Oh. Oh no, I busted that one. Open. <sighs> this is why I told chat <laughs> that if they want horror games, they're gonna have to pay me for it. Not because I necessarily need it, more because I, it, it's putting your mouth where your 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 money your money where your mouth because I don't feel like I am making very good horror content if I'm die if I am to be honest because I feel as if most of the time it's just me sitting there silently staring in rapt attention and horror at the screen whilst I very slowly and I carefully have, make my way through a uncomfortable landscape. Please, don't get up. <sighs> Why do showers in these games always need to look like absolute crap, okay? Seriously, why? Can you imagine fucking showering in here? Like dead, cold, metal everywhere, cold, sterile lighting, these little spout just psh. God, I would freeze to death just looking at this place. Ah yes, there, there's, that is the thing too, chat. There is currently a, uh, a vote going on in, uh, in chat. Uh, whether or not you want a face cam. Uh, I, I don't, I have, well, I do. I do have a camera here somewhere, but I haven't the faintest fucking clue as to where, so. I can set one up. But again, we'll see if chat actually knows what they want. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, where was I going? This way, I'm presuming. Yes. Oh, good. More enormous, dark, mysterious hallways. Hello there, ambush point. And I feel like maybe I should keep the spinny blades on, because at least that will I hear them when they'll bust their ways out of it. Why do people have to put so many vents in this ship? I mean, yeah, sure, I know. If you didn't have vents, literally... Wow, really? I have, a, I have a cap on how much ammo I can carry? I feel like that's a little bit mean, video game. I mean, if you didn't have vents literally everywhere, uh, people would just choke and die, which would be sad, but... I don't think so, buddy. Guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. And I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. <laughs> no? I know. I keep hearing shit too. So it mentioned selling things. Is that an option? Is that something I'm allowed to do? Because... I don't know if I want to sell ammunition, honestly. I feel like this video game might not be kind if I start selling ammunition. I feel like the video game might be like, Oh, you don't- You feel like you're not getting enough action, do you? Well, allow fucking me. That's what I feel like that would be. Um... 
Sure, that's... Uh-huh. Well, it's not going to create a lot of noise or anything, I'm sure. That's me. I'm that. Manually attach claws to initiate repairs. Uh... Please go down into the pre-described arena so that we can swamp you from every side by biting angry monsters. Yeah, I've all my video game. Aha! I fucking knew it! Don't you fucking try that shit on me, bitch! Do not fucking try that shit on me. I am far too clever for you, video game. C.T. Thomas, the beast peasant, don't his two adults to say, question. don't worry, aunt. My boy, it only gets worse. <laughs> Fantastic. C.T. Thomas, the beast peasant, also says, oxygen limitation is a mechanic because space. Oh. Whoa, mother... <laughs> you little bitch. Where did you even come from? You jumped down... Where did you... You little cheaty mother... Game's been trying to do that to me now for a very long time, and I finally let it. Fucking video game. <sighs> let me guess. Call a repair technician? video game. I caught you most of the time, video game, but you, you got me that once. Fair enough. Right, so... Uh, what do you want me to do, video game? What do you want Paris me to do? Fire the players the to answer. damage tramp. <laughs> Can I shoot, like, the... like, the magic bullet at it when it, like, clamps? Like that, and then I shoot, like, the thing? Disengaged. Any luck moving that tramp car? The autoloader's busted. But Stasis should do the trick. Just gotta time it. Ah, okay. Right. So, yeah. But hurry. Okay. Sound carry's down here. Right, loader claw engaged. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, you need me to do stuff. Replacing damaged tramp car. Oh, I'm fucking standing. I'm standing, all right. Heresy's the question. Good Fire chess. is the answer. <laughs> okay. Aha! Ow! Still let him bite me or stab me or whatever. Uh oh. Stop that! Bitch. Come on, crawling up against me like that. Ah. Oh shit, okay. I have, I have damn, damn, damn. Turn around, get ready for the second one. No? Oh, window sound. I'm heading back to tramp control. Should be able to call you a ride to the bridge. Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises right under our feet. Oh. Well, I sympathize. I've heard some fucking noises, too. Yeah. Some fucking noises. Like, are we very scared out here? There's noises beneath our feet, sir. Clark, can you help us? It's like, oh, noises, huh? Oh, well. That's terrible, honey. You have my sympathies. I hear fucking noises, too. Yeah, I do need to remember how to use this stasis thing, but that requires me to press, like, two buttons, so I don't know if I can do that. So that's a bit... Oh. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Get over there. This is where I can be. 
Okay, come at me. Come at me. Scared, aren't you? Yeah, you're scared. Jump Frogable, loan us ten dolls. <laughs> Here's some money for your courage. Thank you very much. Did you just... Did you just fake me out video game? Were you just like, ah, scary noises? You were, you did, didn't you? Well, that isn't unlocked. Ay. Carl Forever donates 50 Danish kroners, 50 superior Danish dollars to help find the cam. Help find the cam. The cam? Help. Filthy casual, don't send dolls. Thank you very much. Here is money for you to continue being uncomfortable playing horror games. Plus, this game is worth finishing. Also, when Skaven RP returning? Never. Or when Kyle gets a job, I guess. One out of two. <laughs> Silly door. You cannot catch me. I am far too intelligent for this. I feel like this game's primary threat so far has been various form of scissoring. Here. Ow, come on. You're supposed to die when I stomp on you. Why did you do that to me? The game wasn't even sitting behind me. The game tends to go like, here's a threat to your front. Here's a threat to your back. I have, I have lost. Shit. Oh, yeah, the thing that was here has gone away. Huh. Oh, that was the damaged charm properly. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Isaac was sent to fix the damaged tram. Isaac finally no notices that the damaged tram is in fact gone. Isaac, clever engineer. Clever clog. Your locator knows the way. Do you know the way? The way. Do you know? Congo. The know the way. Uganda Knuckles. That was a meme that lasted for about five seconds, and then never again. Probably for the better. The locator do know the way. How does the locator know the way? How does it know what I'm doing? Maintenance complete. Calling tram. Thanks, Isaac. We're gonna go on now and be safe. Bye, Isaac. We heard some noises. You should look out, in Isaac. We'll always remember you. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown is lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Uh, return to Kellyan. That's apparently that way. Obdulio donates three dollars to saying, While I don't find Dead Space very scary, the fact that I know you're scared makes the playthrough engaging. I'm genuinely rooting for you to make it through. You're being too hard on yourself, you're <laughs> insane, and you're playing really well. Thank you very much, sir. I like to hear it. You're suspicious. Okay. Oh, good. The lights in this section are off. Fantastic. I do enjoy it when they turn off the lights. Really? Really, I do. Well, last time I went through here, I was running for my life. This time, I have a gun. Eh, scary noises. All right, I've already been here. Oh, I could open those. Oh well, shit. That is nice to know. 
Okay, well, nothing else. Roman High Knife donates to another check in something or others to say, I enjoy your nervous tone. Here's some money. Thank you very much. I'm glad somebody's having fun. <laughs> oh, heavens. Uh, aha! You thought I wouldn't be expecting you, what did you? It's like, let's have an enemy just as the door opens to be like, oh my god, there are monsters here. You didn't expect me to shoot him, did you? No. Honestly, Gabe, I feel like it's a bit late to engage in the spooky atmosphere right now. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're doing a good job. This, this place looks like shit. And it is actually rather spooky spooky, but... I feel as if we are well past the point where you get to be like, oh my god, there might be monsters in the darkness. I think we've passed that point. Like the other companion goes like, Isaac, I can hear noises. Something's climbing in the walls. Like, something? Oh, what could it be? I feel after the... Oh, pancakes. I feel after the 12th or 13th monster coming out of the fucking wall to try and impregnate me with stabbers, we were a little bit beyond the whole scary noises in the walls part. That was one thing I actually sort of enjoyed about Amnesia, actually. Not Amnesia, but uh, the bunker. Hello there. It had an excellent sense of atmosphere in that you always knew the monster was out there. And you knew he, he really wanted to eat your ass. That, that's what you knew. And, but you never knew quite where. You know, you're always guessing. And you were always not sure if he was following you, or if he was in some completely different part of the, uh, environment. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. I think I prefer this video game, though. I can shoot these enemies. No survivors. Danielson's trying to get into the command computer. Is she now? Well, that's good for Daniels. Where am I going? Thank God for the guidance beam of light, incidentally. Service guaranteed citizenship. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be quite that easy. I feel like I should have been saving. How's your ankle? I'm actually mildly surprised you don't have bigger problems than your ankle, honestly. Are they just trying to eat Isaac? Is that is that the thing? Like, Isaac just smells like barbecue chicken wings or something. And they're all coming after Isaac whilst ignoring everybody else. Like, those people aren't anywhere near as yummy as that guy. Is it because they're minorities? Is that why? Like, that person is white. White meat is healthy. I don't want to get the other one. They're they're not healthy. What have you got on you? Is that blood? Haley, oh no, strawberry jam. The Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac, we need to kill him fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. What? You can't. Go on. Okay, fine. Go. I'm presuming that was important. Whoa. <laughs> Death screen. Okay, well. If I was wondering if she was still alive, I guess that answers the question. Oh, hello. You're new. Um, oh, boy. Oh, no. I don't like you. Your limbs are difficult to hit. Oh, 
I like you better. Your limbs are significantly easier to hit. Oh god, another one of those? Okay. You're still alive. Are you bleeding to death? I hope you're bleeding to death. What the fuck are you, actually? I'm gonna snake person. Can you see lunge at me like that? You probably can, can't you? How about we don't take that chance? Isaac, we hear more word noises. Are you okay? Kelly and Till. The singularity core overloaded. No. Oh no, it totally did. No. I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. Clever thinking there, sir. I'm sure the captain is just fine. Matthias. Location medical status deceased? Yep, that sounds about right. God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Well, of course I can. The captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? Oh, no worry. It's probably the wind again. More mysterious noises, you know. Chen? I guess they finally found out what the noises were about. Good for them. Oh, comes with Martin, don't his two dolls. Say, how how are we enjoying the spooky game, Barchman? Uh, not bad so far. I mean, the fact that I get to shoot things in it makes it significantly more bearable. Alright, it turns on the lights on occasion. Uh, stuff and stuff. Welcome to the Ishimura. Populated primarily by incredibly diverse monsters. Actually, you know, okay, uh, there's a problem. I think every monster so far has been white. Where are the brown monsters? Now, surely the monsters should be pretty diverse in skin color too, right? Considering their, you know, dietary habits. Have I been in the bathroom? No, I have not been in this bathroom. Because there's money just lying around on the floor. I can't die here. Not yet. Not, um, eat me. I, uh, yeah, that's a very poor choice of word, my friend. Tremendously poor. Solus Casino. Eat me is a very, very poor choice of words, considering the circumstances. Very unfortunate. Assurance. Oh no, donates uh, twenty dollars. Thank you very much. And says this is why we watch you play horror games. I played this many times and never know there was a dumb dumb guide for the slow twelve year olds. Well worth the money to learn those things at your expense. A dumb dumb guide. I don't know. I think I'm doing very well for a twelve year old. Sephiroth's gonna need to stay off X for a while. I'm starting fighting with the clos closeted Nazis reading their brain dead. Take on Israel. Oh. And don't look necromorphs. And yeah, don't look necromorphs indeed. That way you zoomed up slightly to the roof indicates to me that one of those snake fuckers are about to jump out and try and eat me. No? Huh. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Store. Okay, sure. Buy, sell, and place items in storage. Okay. Uh, one stop to purchase, sell, and store items for later use. Sell later storage item can be accessed via any store. Uh, suit level 2. Increasing inventory capacity to 18 slots and provide 5% armor. Well, that's nice. Uh, I have an inventory. I, I wasn't aware I had an inventory. Inventory. Okay, so that's my inventory, I guess. So this is what I'm... What I currently have on me. Sell at the store for credits. Okay. Uh, 
set. I have 13,000 credits. That's a lot of credits. Okay, well, if I've got 13,000 credits, surely I want a node or... Oh, surely I want a suit, right? It's 5% armor, right? Yeah, sure, surely you upgrade your, your armor whenever you can, right? That makes sense. To me. Plus, it's other people's money, so I don't really care. That looks violent for a change of clothes, but very well. Oh, hey! Armor! Thank God the engineering department had a, a space alien invasion monster things in mind when they, when they made my outfits. Very fortunate. Uh, otherwise, what, what would I have done? Uh, classic Keck Rig. Uh, what does that mean? Is that just a skin? Okay. Right. That is just a skin, says chat. Okay. Well, I don't like it. I like the other one. Right. Excuse me while they spend the next five minutes going in and out of this fucking machine to change my clothes. Don't worry. We'll be done soon, I swear. Like dramatic reveal music. Right, I guess I've changed my clothing enough for, for the needed time. Um, I'm presuming there's not like a... Would I want to put any of this in my inventory? I'm going to restore Stacy's energy, maybe. Because I'm probably only going to need like one of those, right? Right? Probably. Uh, health pack, we probably want to keep with us. Ammo, we're definitely going to want to keep ammo with us. Oh, hello there, adult dating chat. Let's hide user there. All right, we are done changing out our appearances. Money, money, money. Other people's money. It's the best thing ever. Genuinely, it is. There's nothing quite like spending other people's money. I I can sympathize with why the government enjoys it so much. I really can. See, if I wasn't going to be a YouTuber, I would want to be a tax collector. Like, surely. Surely there is no better feeling than just taking other people's stuff continuously. And getting away with it. You're not even like a criminal or anything. You're allowed. Like, imagine that. That's got to be the best thing ever, you know? Like, screw being a police officer, then you actually gotta work for it, but a tax collector, oh god. Like, sir, I notice you haven't paid your taxes. I'm gonna have to send you to jail now, forever. <laughs> but why, it was only five dollars. Well, tax does not care. Uh, can I... Okay, so I gotta unlock all of the nodes. I'm a little bit, like... Like, do I really want to upgrade this? Like, it's the basic pistol. Is the basic pistol going to be good for the rest of the video game? Or the suit? I'm... I am presuming the suit upgrades are going to be universal, I pray. The thing is, the plasma cutter has served me very well so far, so I don't know. And I mean, not dying is, is kind of useful. That would give me another 10 damage points. Oh, you can reset it. Oh, nice. Can I reset it? Uh, okay, so it does cost money to reset it. Does it cost money per point? Um, uh, 
Okay. Right, okay, so I can I can get it all the back anyways, in which case Let's dedicate ourselves to DPS first and foremost then, because I feel like killing stuff is always gonna be useful. You know? Killing stuff is always gonna be good. There's not gonna be a situation in this video game in which killing stuff is gonna be, you know, less than useful. I think. I presume. I hope. Activate. What am I activating? Uh, an elevator, I presume. Yep. Oh, this is a very small elevator. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't trust corpses in this video game for some weird reason. No. For a moment there, I thought I could loot the fuse box. Dragonfly, making the virtual real. Ooh. This game's being very quiet all of a sudden. I don't know if I like it. Kinesi, kine, kinesis module. Uh, to move us out, aim, hold F to use kinesis. Okay. Guaranteed citizen. Oh. Oh, okay. That's that's pretty cool. That's nice. That will definitely be very useful if you ever need to lift heavy shit. See, that's a sci-fi tool that actually has some worth to it. Because, yeah, if you're going to be carrying around all of these boxes, being able to... pick them up and move them easily through fucking magic will probably... Oh, hello. Would probably be very, very worthwhile, in fact, yes. You can put the thing away now. I've figured out how to use the Kinesis module. I think. Yeah, I totally have. That was a pretty simple puzzle video game. Come on, give me this one there. Uh, scan rig to unlock workstation. I don't know what you want from me. It's a puzzle! My god! Well, you know, puzzle, technically. It, it was technically a puzzle, okay? Then I move that back there. Now I can scan myself, or maybe not. Okay, well, never mind. I tried. Whew. Uh, Lucian says, considering how welfare babies act when it's the first time of March of the month, I agree taking over people's money must be the best thing ever. Indeed, they must be. There's gotta be, right? Uh, I take a second, like, I'm gonna read Super Chat, and then the game goes like, Calm down. Blue Grim Grin, uh, doing finals. I've been a tax collector, and he's a pretty nice gig if you can turn off humanity when you clock in. Well, or maximize. Remember, nothing's better than other people's suffering, too. Lord Comes to Spartan, no finals. Take note that buying an ammo capacity upgrade fills your magazine, so try and get those upgrades only when your mag is empty. But pardon my backseating. Oh, no, no problem, sir. You're very welcome. Uh, Mercer Holt donates $200. Thank you very much, sir. Incredibly generous. Again, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, says, hey, can't stay long. Love this game. And yes, the plasma cutter is amazing. Easily my favorite weapon. Oh, good. Okay, that took a turn. It's like, thank you very much. This, oh, this weapon. I'm very happy for this weapon. Then, bleeding woman. I'm like, oh, maybe we should, uh, we shouldn't save her just yet. I have, I have lost. Shit. 
You, uh... They all came back. <laughs> yeah, they do that. You gotta hit him. You gotta stop. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Uh, what's this? It is a pulse rifle. Okay. That doesn't look like a rifle. Um... What the fuck? Oh, you're stabbed? Oh, wait. Were you always a blonde? I'm pretty sure you had black hair a second ago, and I'm pretty sure that sting stabbing you weren't there either. Did they just... Okay, yeah, no, you know, I don't trust you. I do yeah, not I'm trust your lost. fucking morphine module. Thank you very much. Do you die now? So we cleverly switched out the model of your thing. You won't notice, will you? I will, I will, and I will not trust you. Uh, okay. Let me guess. I for inventory? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, crap. Shit. Uh, military gate pulse rifle with a high rate of fire. Okay. Uh, action. Uh, equip. Alright. Uh,. Oh, I put it on four. Well, that's the least intuitive button I could possibly have put it on, but very well. What? Uh, override station... Lockdown? Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh, well, I'm not supposed to go this way, so fair enough. Retrieve the captain's ring. Ah, yes, I have a mission in between being scared. So. I don't know, like, hmm. Like a rifle. Would a rifle be very good against these things? Like, I feel like a rifle might not be the ideal solution to this problem, honestly. In fact, I kind of feel like a rifle might be the inferior solution to this problem, you know, with the whole you know, cutting off their limbs thing. I suppose we're going to be finding out. I need to change my fucking ringtone. We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. The hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. The pole could be through there if... Isaac. Level two, security the one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. You don't say! Like, again, I, I feel like the video game is like, oh, may maybe, maybe they could be the dead come back to life. Perhaps they could be the crew of the Ishimura. Yes. Yes, I, I think they could, video game. There, there's, there's a very good possibility that that is correct. There's a very good possibility that that is, in fact, correct. <laughs> I feel like the game is trying to build atmosphere. A bit, a bit late. Imagine diagnostic lab. What? A black woman doing science? You fucking. Okay, space monsters I can buy, but Jesus, I. I come on now. Come on now. We have to have some. <laughs> we have to have some sentence here of realism. Jesus. Uh, what does the video game think of me? I wish you. You would stop turning off the lights like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, the weapon uh, informs me that he's friendly, so... Hello, fellow citizen of the Ishimura. Are you doing okay? Oh. Well, not anymore.
Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but the whole whispering in my head thing is, uh, is indicating to me that these might not be natural deaths. You know, to follow the game's logic, I feel as if something supernatural is going on here. Mm. As Beltane from Gon's Ghost would say, I think something's a ray. What did I just do? What did I just do? Unironically, what did I just do? Okay, well, there you go. Uh, whatever the hell that was. Are they mines? Because that'd be kind of useful. I mean... I got him back. Huh. Very well. Oh. Were you running- you were running experiments on them, weren't you? Of course you were. Of course, obviously. As is the case in all these sci-fi settings, there's gonna be some mad scientist who- who look at these obvious abominations against God's holy image and goes, Oh, yes! A superior step of evolution! Mm, yes, if only I could be a tentacle necromorph monster as well, then everything would be fine. Just look, just look like a birthday cake. I need to stop doing that, whatever the fuck that is. I think I'm just... I think I'm just putting my ammunition outside of my gun randomly. Because that is usually the story, isn't it? Somebody finds something like this and they go like, My god, they're alien zombie monsters. Oh, hey. How you doing? Not very... Hold on, hold on a second. Just gotta... Alright, you were saying? Oh. Okay, well. If only I had come slightly sooner. Oh, am I... Oh, I am out of ammunition for this thing already. Jesus, okay. Oh, switching back over to the pistol. More pancakes. Delicious. Like I was saying before the video game so rudely interrupted me for the 63rd time. That is, that is what, um, what pulse rifle. Like, I don't know if I like the pulse rifle, honestly. It's like, I feel like this video game is not really set up around the usage of rifles, but, uh, we'll see, I guess. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Reload speed. I'll take it. I had pancakes the other day, Chad. Pancakes are goddamn delicious, I tell you. Like, nice, thick pancakes. Not the sweet kinds. I don't like sweet pancakes. I like the little uh, little zesty pancakes. Whereas you eat with bacon. And maybe some blueberry jam if you're feeling a little, uh, a little adventurous. Oh, delicious. Well, let me guess. Put that in hole? Indeed. Put that in hole. Good. Uh... Do I want to go up there? Doors. Elevators. Okay. Let's try the elevators first then. Whoa! You can climb on the ceiling? That makes your limbs really difficult to target and I don't like it. Thank you for the rifle ammunition. I didn't want it, but thank you nevertheless. Uh, Obdulio says, How would you feel about playing the old classic horror games like the original Resident Trilogy or Silent Hill 1? All PS1 era games, perhaps the old graphic might make them more bearable via the Rebirth mod, RE1, 2, and 3. Play great on modern systems. Um, honestly, I think that would make it worse. Like, at least here... This has the, the, the proper video game feel, whereas I feel as if we're gonna... I feel as if I were playing an old one, 
the lack of graphics would actually make it scarier, I think. Sir. Sir, could you come out here? Oh. Fire is the answer. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, kinetics. I can shoot this at someone, right? Not really, no. What if I... Oh, you can! Okay. Yeah, that... I mean, that felt like something you should be able to do, didn't it? Yeah. I see you over there. God damn it. You cannot hide from me. God damn it. You cannot hide from me. I feel like this might not be the most effective weapon in the universe, actually. Ah, a cart. Oh, you don't actually hold F down. Nice. Oh no, a monster! Oh, that did absolutely nothing. Right, well, mildly disappointed in the efficiency of throwing barrels, honestly, but other than that... Spiky bits on the monster, says chat. Spiky bits. Oh. Okay. Well, that's neat. I can become a railgun. <gasps> I'm I'm the main character of my little railgun. Booking a booking a railgun. God, what was the name of that show? The spin-off from um from uh, from, from 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 the from the one with the stupid kid who punches people to end their magic. That one. <laughs> Um, with that chick who was in every single anime role for a while. That one. And there was a spin-off show called, like, Book in a Railgun or something, following Best Girl, Misaki. Misaki was Best Girl. But... Okay, well, we have concluded that the aliens don't need Earth, uh, Earth's atmosphere, or oxygen for that matter. Oh, reading type. I don't want to read, though. A book and a railgun? <laughs> a book and a peak on a rail... A book and a railgun, Pico. Oh, that has some unfortunate connotations right there. A book and a railgun, Pico. <laughs> that has some very unfortunate connotations. I don't know if I like that. I feel like this game is very, uh... Very with withholding of its save points. I don't... I don't know if I like that. There you go. See, Misaki was always my my favorite. Because she's a good grill. And she wear wears shorts. I like Misaki. Misaki good grill. But I was never the biggest fan of her spin-offs. Let's continue talking about little anime girls chat. That should keep everything nice and safe, right? I don't want to fight this security clearance nonsense about. We can think about being booking a railgun instead. Oh, okay. Zero gravity. Well, that's where the whole uh, oxygen counter comes into play, I'm presuming. Okay, I've got a little bit over a minute. Just, just, just in case. Just, I want to check if I just vented the entire fucking station by accident. I'm hoping if I go back in here, I won't, you know, die anymore. Zero is that true? Okay, that is true. All right, well, very well. Zero it sounds just like a monster roaring at me. I wonder why. Well, it's because there's going to be monsters out there. That's why. It's going to be loot out there, too. Okay. Oh, surely they wouldn't be so churlish if they... Oh, there we go. Okay, that was a kind of cute little scene, though. 
Ooh. Oil droplets of frozen water in the atmosphere there. Now that I know that the exit is right there, I kind of want to see if there was anything I missed. But I don't think so. Okay, well, we now know why there's an oxygen counter. This is valuable information to have. Zero gravity! Therapy room! I don't know if I consider that to be a very therapeutic video game, but if you say so. James uh, Kuhn donates $20 and say, Hey Arch, hope your day is going well. Heads up, last train home as demo on Steam, if you didn't know. Oh, I didn't, actually. Right, hold on, chat, I just need to... I just need to tag that real quick. Hope I'm not getting eaten. Train home. Nice. Okay. Let me just download that demo real quick. There we are. McWall11 says, a face cam with VR, please. <laughs> That's going to cost you a lot more than 20 check-in bucks. I'll tell you that fucking much. Uh, zero gravity thrusters. Use boost and suit thrusters to navigate in zero gravity. Any monsters in here, aren't there? Ooh. Okay. Nifty. QE. Oh, so you can like turn the. Okay. Now shift to boost. Can I. Can I melee? I wish to hit the box. I wish to punch the box. I don't think the video game wants me to punch the box. Okay. Oh boy, this is a. This is a weird perspective. Kind of cool, though. A really weird perspective. Like, I have no idea where I am right now. Where where am I going? <laughs> that way. Okay, thank you, video game. Uh, Obdurio donated $3. Uh, a big marketing point of the original game was how shoot him in the head was not going to fly this time. Am I upside down? I'm upside down, aren't I? Uh, I probably shouldn't be upside down. There we go. Was well, not going to find this time. The military weapons were ineffective, and that it's all about the engineer's tools to take off limbs. Okay. Well, that was a, that's a neat idea, though. It's like, okay, yeah, these monsters—they're not going to function using the uh, the normal. Um... Wait, can I? Yes, you can. Nice. Like, these monsters are not going to function using the normal rules, and she, you've got to rethink how you how you play and fight, etc. No sign of her yet, but I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. See, that's a nice idea. And you don't need tea time? Tea time, okay. And you don't even need that much. Like, that's a fairly basic piece of innovation, right? So somebody gets like, okay, uh, you know, what, what what do you normally do with, with monsters? Like, okay, let's say zombies, right? Well, you shoot them in the head. Okay, what if we say... You little shit. Oh, God, you're coming over here, aren't you? So what if we simply say that, okay, you can't shoot them in the head. Or, well, yeah, oh, you, oh, let you get a little bit too close, didn't I? It's slightly panicked shooting there, but it all worked out in the end. Uh, is that ammunition? Or is that just... No, that is my expended cartridge. Very well. Please don't send any more at me. Like, seriously, I do not want to... I do not want to engage in zero space... Uh, zero G combat if I can avoid it. Okay, good. But so, so, okay. 
uh, what if you you can't do that? In fact, that will be pointless. Instead, you gotta shoot him in the limb. So you gotta aim, and that'll add like to the uh, to the experience. Because now you gotta aim whilst under stress. Like that's a a very good idea, and it's a very like relatively small scale idea, you know, because it's not gonna require like um like an enormous redesign of what. Oh shit. Uh, well, that's a problem. Uh, oh, okay, right, okay. Well, let me just take another breath of air before we go in there. Because it's not going to require an enormous redesign of everything that is a survival horror shooter. But it is going to change it enough to give it a bit of flavor, you know? Just that little bit of extra uniqueness to it. This is uh, what a lot of what I mean specific specific as well uh, when I say that the the era of like innovation in video gaming uh, is dead and that it really doesn't need to because it is such a little thing but that is still an innovative thing. Okay, so you can refill oxygen through that. Nice. I'm getting really fucking nervous now for some reason. I don't know why, like, the zero-G environment is, is fucking with me. I'm like, this is dangerous, isn't it? Like, I'm not gonna be able to- I'm not gonna be able to hear them. That's the worst part. I'm like, if there comes something here, I'm not gonna hear it until it's stabbing me in the ass. And then I'm gonna panic. Then I'm gonna just start shooting like a madman. Then I'm gonna waste lots of ammo on that. Luckily, the video game has... Elected to not be quite so cruel as to actually do that to me. Just yet. Oh my! Why did you have to do that? Now I was busy. I can't see you. I'm. Uh, uh, help! Help! Oh. Uh, okay. Thank God. It was just as confused as I was. Oof! Lucky that. Right. It was just as confused as me. Otherwise, that could have gotten very dangerous very quickly. Ooh. Uh, Beta Randish donates two pounds to play a C64 game, you puff. I'm not gonna play fucking consoles, Jesus. Disgusting. Disgusting. And console games. Oh, an elevator shaft. Oh, good, yes. They're always such healthy places in, in video games in general. Only such nice and lovely, healthy places. Filled with plummeting pieces of metal. Schematic. Pulse round. Okay. I feel like Isaac is being a bit of a douche nozzle here. Like, at any point, I could just tell my dudes, like, Oh, yeah, no, uh, seriously, like, Jen's gone, bruh. Like, he's a flesh-eating monster now, and he'll try to stab you to death, because I've killed, like, five dozen of them at this point, you know? They're, um... Well, fuck you too, video game. Don't fucking startle Arch. Arch doesn't like being startled, goddammit. Whoa! I was about to fucking say, the video game hasn't done an ambush on me in a while. <sighs> I was about to fucking point it out, too. <sighs> God, fucking... Hmm. The game hadn't done an ambush on me in a while. Ah. I dodged him though. I sidestepped his fucking ass. He didn't get nothing on me. Okay, well, I don't need to go this way, so I shot. <sighs> I, again, Isaac could simply say, Hey, buddy, uh, they're monsters. They're zombie monsters. 
Don't worry about trapping him. Fucking tear his goddamn limbs off and get moving. Like, that's it. There you go. Put a bullet through him. Money if you need to. And I could save him a lot of trouble. And later on, he's probably going to get eaten because he's like, I got to save Chen. And then he dies. <laughs> yes. Okay, chat, again. That one was a good one. You should you should clip that or even send the timestamp and send it to my Twitter account. It's uh, it should be in the, the description down below, the Archcast Twitter. Send it to me as a DM because that that one's worthy of uh that one's definitely worthy of, of a little clip. Oh god. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, sweet. <sighs> right. Where were we? Uh, we were about to blow something up. <sighs> Victor Ortiz says, Aunt, did you hear about the creator of Dead Space left the studio that created the Callisto Protocol, the spin-off Dead Space title? Um, I heard something about that, but... Not having... Oh, it's just the door. Not having that much of a relation to the, the series in general, I didn't necessarily need to take notice. Ah. Uh, boom. 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 God damn it. Ooh. There we go. I heard the Callisto Protocol wasn't all that good, though. Uh, apparently. Like, it was just a, a shittier version. I know Kyle tried to play it for a while, and he eventually gave up, probably because he's an enormous vagina. That looked an awful lot like one of those flashy little thingity bulbs right over there. Impaling and throwing. Grab loose objects, and this is throw sharp objects and enemies to impale them. Alright. Something is telling me that I'm about to be attacked. Is there a sharp object anywhere? Sharp object. Sharp object. A wheel shed is not what I would usually consider a sharp object. That looks like a sharp object. Okay. Come at me, boys. Come at me. Come at me. Okay, that was pretty effective. You're dead, right? Yep, you're definitely dead. Oh, damn it. I didn't have the correct slicey thing selected. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, there we go. I was worried that I wouldn't get my present. I have, I have lost. Thank you kindly, Intelli thank you kindly for not bursting out of there whilst I had my back to the vent. Very nice of you, sir. Very kind. Very gentle. Very gentlemanly like. See, even the monsters, even the monsters can occasionally understand the value of gentlemanship. It's very good. Very good. Very good. Alright, well, there's nothing more up here, I think. So one would presume that there will be more down there. Alright. Come on, Isaac. We've got more adventures to go on. I hear weird babbling noises. God damn it. Why are there so many of you? Uh oh. That's a problem. Right, somebody mentioned spiky bits. Spiky bits. 
Yeah. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> okay, spiky bits do spiky bits do a lot of damage, but it doesn't necessarily kill them. Service guaranteed citizenship. But yes, I heard Callisto Protocol was actually shit, so I'm presuming um, the creator made that and it wasn't very good, and so he just left, I guess. Uh, I mean, he might only have had one good uh, game in him, you know? Sometimes, sometimes you have that one good game that you make, that one great thing that you create, and after that you can never quite um, live up to your previous uh, expectations and creations. It happens all the time. There was also a bit of drama around, um, they, they cut out some death animations or something, which they sold in, like, a DLC pack, which... It's me. Are you seeing anything, Isaac? There's, there's nobody in here. Uh, that was a bit of drama. And to be fair, I can see that, too. It's like, you cut out death animations? Really? That seems remarkably petty. With medication and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvement. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Marcia continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Yeah, video game, she dead. Like, don't even try this shit with me. Don't even fucking try this shit with me. It's like, oh, she could be alive though. Uh, Isaac's uh, mother woman, for, uh, friend, whatever. She she alive? No. She no alive video game. I mean Jesus, look around. She no alive. Uh, observation of the marker. I feel like some claim poor quality. Uh, to bend the artifact appears to be a genuine marker. The marker first be found in your turn. Founding Join us in Paradise. Alright, so this is the marker thing. I've heard some of this from Kyle's. The markers are like the things that drive people nutty. And then they summon the big aliens that go like, mm, snacks. And that seems to be the general backstory. And then, of course, as in all of these sci-fi settings, there are people that look at that and go like, Oh, man. This enormous skyscraper-sized monster that is coming to eat my children. It looks like liberty. Uh, well. Dejarta cool. Surgical log. Dr. Charis Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. Remarkable. To finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners. This transformation. The divide death self. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. When my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without kind, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Yep, and see, that's the thing right there. It's like, oh god. Look, they don't die even when you shoot them in the head. Like, I would like to be like them. Are you certain? Are you 100% sure? Because, you know, they're also monsters. I'm just pointing that out. They're also monsters. Do you want to be the monsters? Like, yes. Why? Well, because I don't die. Yeah, but they're also mindless zombies. Are you sure this is the future you wish? Yes. Okay. Well, if you say so. Uh, do I have any pancakes? I have no pancakes. Okay, well. No pancakes for me. Black1917 says, Yes, let the anger take hold. It will banish the fear. It will! 
Biological Prosthetic Center. We'll chop off your arm and give you a slightly uh, off-color one for some reason. It's like, hello, I see you're an Asian woman. I'm gonna just bolt this white dude's arm onto you for some reason. Oh, that won't look weird or anything. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. Mm-hmm. Are those babies? Those are babies. Of course they're babies. Why wouldn't there be babies? Why wouldn't there be babies? Why wouldn't there be fucking babies? I don't know if I want to be here anymore. Okay, fine. Okay, mutated babies. To be fair, that would probably have been very spicy around the time when this game first came out. That probably... Unironically, like, this game is old, isn't it? Like, because this is the remix. The original game is, like, from fucking ages. Hello. Okay, how do I shoot your... Oh, okay. And I was about to say, how do I shoot your limbs? Thank you for answering my question so quickly and uh, easily. A baby in a jar. Why haven't they eaten these babies? I feel like it's a little bit unfair that these babies get to live. Oh, okay. The game isn't that spicy. Okay, fair enough. Mmm, food. That must have been rather spicy at this point in game, right? Uh, Dead Space 1 is from 2008, says chat. I mean, yeah, th this would have been... Uh, well, like, yeah, yeah, maybe not. Like, 2008, that's that's not that bad. But if this had been, like, from the, the 2000, for example, like, early 2000s, this would have been pretty, pretty spicy. Oh, babies stacked upon babies. Hello. Don't come so close to me, you disgusting little... Ow! That damn little shit wouldn't show me its tentacles. I suppose I could just have stepped on it there, actually. Yeah, stepping on it would probably have been the better solution. See, I'm sure this freaked some people out. They're like, oh my god, I can't shoot the babies. All I see is the tentacle monster shooting shit at me. That is all I see. There is no baby here. There is only monster. And we shoot monster. Simple. Dimple. Oh, little baby cries. See, this is nothing for me, okay? This is actually nothing for me. I played Max motherfucking pain, I have, bitch. I have lost. You know, you can't get me with it like, oh, but the babies, they be crying. Says, yeah, well, I played a game in which your entire family gets murdered, and you need to follow a line of their slaughtered blood to a crib with blood raining around it. You're, you ain't getting me with this shit. You ain't getting me with this shit. I probably shouldn't touch him until I've, you know, fixed the power a little bit here. There. Shock pad. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad to use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. He's quite crispy. Pancake. Thank you. I'll look at my spot. Number five, don't say Callisto. Callisto is a bad melee brawler that was going to have a PUBG tie-in, I think. Game was remarkably mid at best. Would recommend you avoid, to be honest, Callisto. Oh, Callisto Protocol, yes. Is a bad melee brawler. PUBG tie-in. Really? Okay. Uh, Pi said, don't say, don't say, will you do more about Israel? Um, maybe. It depends on if it has political significance, honestly. I've been tempted to do, like, a military analysis channel. I honestly have, but I'm also planning to do a history channel, so I'm like, I probably shouldn't do all of these things at the same time. Now, tragically, there is only one art. That is the... 
That is the main limiting factor. Because I could. I, I, in fact, feel rather confident I could do a fairly good him military analysis of the situation down there. Oh, hello. Oh! Well, that was a bit churlish, don't you think? I am running out of ammunition. That was a bit mean. I wasn't really prepared for that. Bastards. But there might be evolving political consequences of the situation. Very, very likely, in fact, as it seems to be one that has quite a lot of bearing on quite a lot of things. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to. Uh, at least not yet, but I'm... I, I can't say that I will either. I probably should. Like, it's it's good. It's it's very good, uh, like, uh, content, frankly. Or, well, people seem to enjoy it anyway, so I probably should, but at the same time, I was like, uh -huh. I need more of myself. I need more archers. If I had more archers, that'd be lovely. Stasis pack. Pulse rounds. Okay. Um... God, I've gone through a lot more plasma cutter energy than I than I want to. Well, than I want to think about, honestly. What's that? Energy for the oxygen supply to maximum. Well, that's neat, but I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to carry that around necessarily. Move to storage. Move to storage. And I guess we'll we'll keep the rest. So ten thousand cash for a pancake. I'm tempted by the pancake, but I think I've already got a pancake. Uh, there's no pancake makey makey thing here, though, is there? No. I'm tempted to pay the ten thousand for a pancake, but eh. Uh, okay, will you play replay Cyberpunk again with the new update and DLC? God no. Uh, I I did the new DLC. I'm not gonna replay all of that. Um, that would be very long. Uh, explosive charge. Am I? Is this right? No, this is not right at all. Uh, Burn Burnson says in Soviet Russia, a baby aborts you. It does seem that way. Well, that does indeed look very homemade, but, uh... I mean, I honestly feel like I could have dealt with that with my hands, to be fair. And I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure- Whoa, okay. Uh... Well, that was sudden. Jesus! I didn't know you had that ability. Well, now I know. They can know me if you get close. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Roger Dodger. Ooh, yellow thing. Uh, weapon upgrade. Plasma cutter upgrade. Alright, alright. That sounds pretty cute. God damn it. What is with this security clearance? I feel like I should have it. Help me, help me, help me. Sorry, we are all full. Yeah. Apologies. We, uh, we ain't got any room to help nobody. You're fucked. To be fair, that does seem to be the more or less the generally the case. Oh. 
Where did the goody go? Where did the goody go? I think the goody went through the floor. Okay, well. I would really like to know how I increase my security clearance. I feel like that would be a valuable piece of information. We've got ghost stuff in the distance there. Ah, uh, Hannah's asleep at another dose of sedative. She was literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of working, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events of the North Colony points. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Skirelia hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. Oh boy. And Hannes doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. Aha. Uh -huh. This guy's like sociopathic behavior, but Hannes exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer regular organizational opinions. Question about Evans' murder, however, he became withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinogenic periods again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. So basically, a uh, thing made him go cray cray. Magic stuff made him go cray cray. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, he's seizing. Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. You know, it'd be kind of fun to, uh, to have like a. a, a Throwing the control room. Oh, did she go somewhere? It'd be kind of fun to have like a video game where you where you need to like contain circuit breaker like outbreaks like this, wouldn't it? Where like you're, the entire game is you get sent to stations where shit's already going down, right? And you're the dude in charge, so you need to take the actions to figure out uh, what's killing everybody and how to deal with it. So there might be like a zombie outbreak. It's like okay, uh, tell the security personnel to shoot for the head. Um, instantly execute anyone who's bitten. You know, adequate security measures like that, right? Level two, security clearance required. And sometimes there should be a little shit like this. Sometimes the situation will be better or worse. Like, sometimes you might get there and there's only, like, one instant. And, like, okay, well, we don't know what happened, but this guy was bitten and he got all fucking frantic or something. Okay. Ooh. That's a thing. Uh. Is that a thing? What is this thing? Is it a power thing? I mean, it's glowy. Is it a security clearance thing? No. And at the end of it, you get a score. Is it a... Uh... I just rub it against that? No? Okay. And at the end of it, you get a score, which goes like, okay, um, you correctly identified the threat, or you didn't correctly identify the threat, you cause X amount of extra damage, or you prevented so and so much damage, and stuff like that. That could be fun. I don't know what this thing is, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything particularly useful at the moment, so... Uh... Ah, yes, the lack of lights, as per usual, so... Uh... Uh, did that... Did that do anything? Oh, no, I need... The, I think I need the entire battery, don't I? Unless... Does that lead anywhere interesting? Uh, no, don't think so. Okay, so if I turn that off completely... Aha! Then I get battery. Oh, shit. I don't... Oh, Sir, God, what am I doing? Citizen. What am I doing? What on God's earth am I doing? There we go. Somehow I didn't die during all of- Ow! Bitch! I really hate the babies! Okay, reload, quick. Oh boy, you're not dead, are you? You're not dead. 
Oh boy. Oh, that did not do what I was hoping it would do. Well, this has gotten rather frantic. Oh, boy. Hey. I really don't like the babies. I think that was an umbilical cord I just picked up there. I don't really particularly like this gun either. But I was running out of ammo for the other one, so I need to use this more. Oi. Lord Commander Spartan, don't too long say security clearance goes up as the game goes on. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Then you can backtrack for additional stuff, I guess. How about we just hit all of these? Before some of them turn into monsters on me. Sometimes I feel like you take a lot more damage. God, I really hate this gun. <laughs> I actually kind of hate this gun. I kind of want to sell it. But I don't know if it'll give me enough ammo for the other gun, so I feel like that might be a bad idea. Oh. Ah, stasis, yes. I, I know, I need to use my fucking abilities. But abilities gay, though. Isn't it more funny to just ignore your abilities completely? Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching my back. You're a lot mean with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Hmm. That sounds like a very well-adjusted individual indeed. I'm sure she survived and went on to live a full and happy life after all of this. Okay. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Nice. That went a lot better than the previous panicked encounters. There you go. Calm down. Now. Calm down and aim at the enemy's weak spots. The enemy have plenty of weak spots. More pancakes. Take the pancake and be happy with the pancake. Mercer, it's Terrence Kite. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't right. have enough data. Or sir. Friend. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, possibly not. Uh-huh. Fred Harris? Mm hmm Might be our last hope. Friend? He was probably crazy, wasn't he? That's why you had to do that. Uh... Yeah, well, you know. She was probably crazy too. Such is life. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you have a woman moment. And you know the woman moment has gone a little bit too far. Two, and so you're survive. just going to have to put it to an end. It happens. Yeah! Pulse rounds. I do hate pulse rounds. I still haven't figured out what the other button does. I should probably try that in see and see if it explodes or something. Because it might be a grenade launcher. And that would be good, because, you know, you got to blow their limbs off. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I was about to say, uh, this is gonna blow the fuck out, isn't it? Oh, hey! Functional security measures! Oh. And babies, too, of course. Side strength! Wow, functional security measures. I'm impressed. You rarely see those in video games. Like, yes, catastrophic decompression of an area would indeed probably lead to, you know, emergency shutters falling down and blocking the area so that, you know, everyone inside didn't immediately choke to death. Functional security measures are good. They're healthy. They'll keep you alive. Mmm, gentle moaning in the back of my head. Just the way I like it. Whoa. Yeah, that's a fake out. Fuck you. That's too obvious, video game. That's too obvious. Although I do expect there will be going to be a, quite the amount of enemies down here eventually. Oh, hey. Thanks. Thank you, ghost of whoever was in there. I did need more of that ammunition uh, stuff. So, I think people mentioned this was a bomb. That's good. As I'm presuming, this is where the dead captain is, right? Yes. So that means we're probably going to be in a situation very soon where we're going to get attacked, because the captain is going to be like, hey, I'm dead, except he isn't. And then I will have to be like, oh my god. And then I'll have to panic for a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The video game is going to take away control. Yep, it's definitely going to happen. Oh my god, look, he's a harmless corpse. Nothing wrong will ever happen as I just yank out this, yank out that, yank out that, and look, nothing harmless. Wow. How incredibly fucking safe and placid. Wow. Wow. Oh, hey. He's turning safe and placid, too. Man. This is the single least dangerous thing that has happened in the video game so far. Here, eat that. Right. This is not the, gear, the gun I would like to have in this circumstance, but it is the gun I have in this circumstance, so... Oh, hey. I take it that was the stasis bomb, then. That did absolutely nothing. You, uh... You gonna come in? No, 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 uh-oh, uh-oh, well, this is incredibly unfortunate, as I seem to be stuck, okay, uh, yep, I was trying to stasis there, but the video game was like, no, 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 you don't get to stasis right there, like, press C button, no, well, how far back does that place me? Oh, not that far, okay. Right, how about we get rid of the dumb weapon? In fact, no, even better. Okay, right, okay. We're, we're gonna be clever about it, so. A bomb. And a bomb. Right, and then we're gonna get rid of the weapon. There we go. Far more clever. Far more clever. I can't break that, can I? No. Oh, oh, and bomb. Yeah. Right. You stay right there. As a part of my security measures. Think of security measures. Ammo. Stuff. Medical log. Pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. You don't say. 
Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and it will be left for investigation to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the conditions of the body. I'm presuming, uh, yeah, penetration. Multiple penetrations. Multiple stab wounds. Multiple sizable stab wounds. Well, turns out I shouldn't have placed the bomb right there because it just exploded. Hello, bat friend. I'm so glad that little hand grenade didn't kill you or anything on the way in. That would have been unfortunate. Damn, your uniform sloths off quick. Right there. Don't you stab me, bastard. Okay, that's one. There's the rest of ya. Oh look, they're all turning into zombies. How oh, very fucking unfortunate. Oh, you're turning them into zombies, you dirty little bat thing. Oh, there you are. Bad! 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 Bad bat snake trouser thing, whatever the hell you are. Very bad. Exceedingly bad, in fact. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Yeah. Fuck me. Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Like, my god. Like... Flying things. See, I should have cleared that one on the first try, but... I got stuck. That was the issue, because I was running around the room. And I would have gotten around, but I got stuck right here. Probably in a box or something. And I was reloading. Uh, that, and I picked a particularly inopportune time to run out of ammunition for me pulse rifle. I really hate the pulse rifle. I think I'm gonna sell the pulse rifle. I despise the pulse rifle. I wanted to go away. I wanted to be out of my life. Pulse rifle got me killed. I don't like the pulse rifle. Fire Fuck the, the pulse answer. rifle. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Isaac, oh hey. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Hmm, a shortcut. Uh, Obdudo says pulse rifle is a military weapon, so it makes sense. And the comes response says secu security clearance goes up to Amazon. Oh yeah, low and you know, pulse rifle old fires a proximity mine. It didn't seem like a very good proximity mine, in my opinion. In fact, it kind of seemed like a shit proximity mine, in my opinion. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> like an actually awful one. Wasn't there a security thing here? Because I have, I've got security clearance one now, don't I? I do! Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. My powers grow yet further. Lovely. Sandoom notes five dollars and says, If the Imperium had to deal with necromorphs, how quickly would Space Marines be called in? Would Death Watch be best to kill the necromorphs? Hmm. I feel like... The average Imperial Guard Lance Rifle would actually not do too bad against these guys, due to the fact that it... See, what people don't get about Lance Weapons is, it doesn't really deliver the primary damage via, like, the heat. 
it's the kinetic impact of having your blood suddenly boil to fucking mist in your veins that does the damage. So the question is, uh, how much blood are in these things? Because if there's a lot of blood, the standard laser rifle would actually be a really good weapon. Particularly taking into mind that each magazine has like 100 to 200 rounds in it. Level two, security clearance but if they're low on blood, that would be absolutely goddamn awful. That would be, uh, would be absolutely terrible. Okay. I'm... I'm not gonna go wandering around looking for security clearance drawers. I'm gonna presume that I'm probably gonna be end up backtracking or something. I'm guessing. Game, it feels like that kind of a game. Hmm. You. I don't like you. You can go away. I don't like you. If I run out of ammunition, I'll run out of fucking ammunition. I kind of don't want to sell the air. Because I feel like the air might be useful. Hmm, power node. I still don't really want to spend money on the power nodes. I don't know. It's like, they're cute, but... Hmm... Yeah, let's, let's buy one. Let's buy one. Because I feel I'm saving for, like, a suit. Because I'm thinking, like, okay, there's going to be, like, there's going to be, like, um, armor upgrades. And I want to want to be able to afford those. But I also don't want to end the game with 50,000 bucks in my bank account either. So let's, let's spend a little bit. Little bastards. Like Haiku says, Pulse Drive is designed for center mass, not limbs. That does seem to be the case, yes. Which is not really what I want. Oh, meaty. I feel like I already stomped these, but yeah, just in case. I am going the right way. Yes, I am. Uh, hangar cargo terminal. Flight deck tram control. There we go. Obdulio oh, and Sridol say, Now that you've seen it, your instincts were right on the money. Those necromorphs, bats will turn any corpse into more necromorphs, so all those dead bodies who stomp to bits uh, mean less necromorphs. Arr. See, I figured there was some kind of necromancy nonsense like that. Yep. It makes sense, it makes sense. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Or is it just that all the stations look the same? I mean, that would make sense too. You would have standardized stations, but... Oh, hello. I don't like you. Well, now I'm definitely gonna stomp everything to bits. We are making progress, chat. I have, I have lost. That has indeed lost. Life like also says Pulse Rifle is designed for center mass, not limbs. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Bathroom. There might be a security clearance station in here. This is where my sense of direction is going to be a problem. Because I remember this toilet, but I'm still going to go in here. I'm going to probably do that a lot. Right, I've already been here. Okay, so this this should actually be... You know... Security reporting retrieved. Safe-esque. Okay, well... I'm glad I didn't just unload the majority of my ammunition into that. Because that was a very convincing security recording. Another little bot. Alright. Uh. There we go. God, I am so happy for this thing. I would be so lost without it. Oh, I would be so lost. It's like, check the map. Oh, but... Just have a handy-dandy light that tells me where to go. I like the handy-dandy lights. Isaac, 
This damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. Uh-oh. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. I don't know if I like that. Chapter 2, complete. Chapter 3, course correction. Those are some pretty nice effects though, I will say. The game looks quite nice. I really don't like the zero gravity stuff. I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed any second. I don't like it. Hmm. Lots of explosive containers. That indicates that me that something's gonna get interesting in here at some point. Ammo, thank you. At least he didn't let out all the air, that's good. Okay, it's filling me up. Good. I did need way more ammo. So I appreciate the fact that it's giving me some. Alright, let's not get too greedy. Let us continue our adventures. Dum -dum 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 -dum. I am flying. This is a very large cavernous space, which makes me suspect that there might be a very large cavernous boss at some point. There's an enormous fucking necromorph in here. With tentacles, probably. Batting all over the place. Then you've got to pick up the, uh... Oh, that's, that's air, less, isn't it? Yep, it is. With giant tentacles, you're gonna pick up the little explosive boxes and fling them at it. Because I am noticing a suspicious amount of uh, explosive things around here. Oh, hello. Old bitch. Ow! Yes, sneaky get. This is what I feared in these circumstances, because you're not going to be able to hear the little bastards before they're stabbing you. Alright, just let me take a quick look up here if there's anything cute. How did you recenter again? I've completely forgotten. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything particularly interesting here, so let us continue on. Luckily, those have infinite oxygen in them. Let me guess. Down the hole? Of course, down the hole. Chat mentioned break boxes with telekinesis. Oh, well, that was not a box. There you go. Thank you for that tip, chat. Very useful. Look at that oxygen flask, too. Uh, where am I going? Further down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. This is far down. I, If I fiddle with my inventory... Oh, God, that's... Time's still gonna pass whilst I fiddle with the inventory. Oh, boy. Okay. That's good to know. That means I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. I feel like somebody thinks it'll fucking bounce out on me. Oh, I did that like two seconds before I actually hit the air point, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I did. A fucking course I did. Exiting Not too late, obviously.
Like, wow, I'm running out of oxygen. Yeah, but there's air right over there. Well, apparently I don't care. Thank you for the credits. We are not punished for our sins, but by them. Ah. We dug too deep. We dug too greedily. Because we found these things in the walls, we are now being punished. Our sin was to bring them aboard the ship, which, to be fair, yes. Oh, okay. Spaghetti mon. Fuck you. Spaghetti monster? Engineering log. Adding this to my maintenance priority request. Maybe something in writing will make them pay attention. That unidentified growth reported elsewhere on the ship has reached engineering. Not even medical knows what the hell this stuff is. It looks like someone threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in and of itself. It's already busting the conga lift and it's getting into the engine spoke. If we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll be all be over the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, I'm heading to the mining deck. They've got PFM 100s in storage for ice mining and they can spare the fuel. Maybe cauterizing the stuff will do the trick. Just hope it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. See, this again is one of those things, right? You're the captain on a ship and your engineering is like, uh, Hey, captain, um, we've got like cancer growths uh, pouring out of the fucking walls. Like... It's growing so fast we can't actually cut it apart anymore, and it's about to choke out the engines. Orbital position compromised. Correct course immediately. Well, that sounds reassuring. At that point, surely the captain should be like, Oh, well, that's unusual. You know, cancer growth doesn't usually grow on my ship, so maybe, uh, maybe it's time for some emergency measures or something. Who knows? Who knows? It could be. Possibly. Speaking of emergency measures, I think I released a video about an hour ago. You should watch that too. Uh, Sand Doom donates a five dollars. Say thanks for the video on the best couple in 40k. Garen Crow and his favorite beating stick, the Blade of Antwerp. They do get along very well, those two. Engineering log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple reporting. Christ, I still can't believe the Chief is gone. It's all fallen apart since the captain died. Everyone down here is on their last nerve. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Hey, fuck, those were my lunch buddies. Liz's friends. Old boyfriends. And out of nowhere... Oof, nothing worse than old boyfriends. Primaries laboring or hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused or it'll crack. Temple out. Seeing you in the control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah. All fucked, boss. No sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Oh yeah, sure. It's just a spaceship. Get the fuel running, then do a full restart. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. There. Standing by. <laughs> Fast as you can, Isaac. Yeah, fast as you can. Come on. Come on, slave. Fucking pull this ship out of orbit already, Isaac. You lazy ass bitch. Get to it. I'm sorry, Massa. I'm killing my way through the aliens as quickly as I can. I apologize for my lack of alacrity. You know, once you're sitting there in your nice, comfy, safe little place. Oh, bastard. I think there are other enemies aboard this ship than just a squicker morse. I think one of them might be my boss. I'm like, Isaac, what's taking you so long? Surrounded by snapping, biting, flesh-eating monsters. I don't know. It's a little bit fucking lively down here, Massa. Locals are getting a bit aggressive. They don't seem to like the idea of me turning the power back on again for some reason. They keep turning the lights off. I don't know why. Ooh, hey, what's that? That is a, uh, circular saw, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Well, uh, judging by that, I would think circular saw is exactly a ripper blades. Yes, indeed. 
Right, well, that was obvious enough. Ooh. Oh, something relatively sizable went there, went through there. Okie dokie then. Uh, Ripper, remote industrial saw. Well, that does sound pretty kawaii. Uh, how about I put that on my thingy de bob bar? Let's put it on the number two bar. No, goddammit, not that one. That one's got to stay on number one, because that best gun. Uh, where did it go? There you go. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. I have, like, dick all ammo for this thing. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, primary fire. Alright, well, I just wasted, like, half of my ammunition on figuring out what the hell it did, but that is pretty cool. That is pretty cute. I like that. Security request retrieved. We need help down in engineering. Never shut those wires off. I don't want to. I don't want to. Christ, Henderson, your teeth. He's pulling his teeth out. Just hold it. Where the fuck is security? Oh, God. He's dead. No, he's alive. But he hit that thing pretty hard. His own teeth. Chief, what the hell is happening? I don't know. Cancel security request. Henderson needs the medical bay. And a shrink. And a shrink, indeed. That didn't scare me at all, by the way, chat. That didn't frighten me. You may have seen me back away from the camera, but that was just me being safe and making sure that there wasn't any necromorphs in the shower. Yes. That wasn't scary, at the slightest. It didn't even spook me. Didn't even spook me. Not for a second. Not for a moment. Not for an instance. Game wants me to go the other way, so I'm obviously going to go this way. Mother! <sighs> that didn't scare me either. That was fine. Not frightening. Not even a light shock. Mastery override required. Okay. Oh, I can get a bench at least. Uh, all right. Oh, that's applied automatically. Okay, well, that's just more stuff. Greatly increases ammunition capacity. That's nice, because I'm... I... Okay, so... I have, should I have my suit, though? I kind of feel like I should start getting my suit. Stasis energy. But I don't really use stasis energy that much. That's a lot of damage. Wait, 40 points? Really? The Ripper deals way less damage than the pistol? Huh. Well. I mean, I love this thing so far, so I see no particular reason not to just upgrade it to high heavens. Let me get one in HP, though. Just one in HP. Just one in HP. I'm always nervous when those things fucking close, because that... I recognize that as the perfect setup opportunity for a jump scare. You know? When one of those... You, you're thinking, you think you're safe, and you've been considering other things, and then suddenly there's a necromorph behind you, like... <laughs> Evacuate this area immediately. Well, I wish I could. But that is not really an option. I can't want to try the Ripper. At least for like one or two enemies, maybe. Because I don't have more ammo than one or two enemies. Thank you. I appreciate the credits. Level two of course. The moment I got out of the place where everyone's like, level one security clearance, then it's level two security clearance. Not too leash, obviously. Why would it not be? 
Like, listen, this is engineering. This is a far more high security area. You don't understand. The engineers, there are primary combat forces you must understand. Gotta make sure that they're taken well care of. And ironically, that kind of seems to be true. Hmm. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> that did not work at all like I thought it would. Interesting. Huh. Warning. Fuel preserves depleted. Main engines offline. Okay, that's kind of cute. I don't know if it's better than the plasma gun, or the lion gun thingy, but that's kind of cute. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really safe. Actually, is there anything else I can do before I go across the, the bridge of nearly guaranteed death and destruction? Come at me, Skelebros. I've got a circular fucking saw. And now suddenly they don't want to anymore. They saw what happened to their friend. And they ain't want they ain't want none of that. Oh, was that Oh That was what I needed to do? Oh, I had no idea. Useful. I am the hero. I'll save this ship even without knowing what the hell I'm doing. Rangi's been a member for seven months. And he's going to have to be a member for a while longer if he wants to get the answer to his question. Uh oh. Oh my Jesus. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, damn it. I was sitting there thinking that was going to happen. It's like I'm using way too much time on the one in front of me, even as the other one is no doubt sneaking up behind me. And yes, it was. Hmm. Okay, this thing does need way more damage upgrades, I think, before it'll be super useful. Because it's cute, but it's also like this game's entire shtick is putting one in front of you and one behind you. And so you kind of got to be able to kill the one in front of you with a, with a little bit of alacrity before the one behind you began eating your supple flesh. Oh, that... That thing! You still not dead? Before the one behind you starts eating your supple flesh. Okay, what about the, uh, that one? Okay. Uh, I'm thinking it might be pretty good for... That was just grunty noises, nothing dangerous. It might be pretty good for large rooms, though, when you've got lots of enemies and you can just send that bouncing around the room. That could be pretty good. Or it's also crowd control, so if you got loads of them coming at you from the front, that could be good, too. Yeah, I'm liking it better than the Pulse Driver, at least. Uh, partially because it's just an enormous, you know, fucking circular saw, which is adorable in and of itself. Alright, across the bridge of death we go. Uh, right. Where did that... Hold on a second. Where did that member chat go? Because it just disappeared. Uh, there we are. Uh, Rangi has been a member for seven months. Says, hey, Arch, hope you're enjoying the game. Also, it might be fun to see you and Kib cover some kind of Halloween movie or show. I would recommend The Thing. Oh, The Thing. I heard that's a scary one. I haven't watched it. 
I have seen the video game. The video game got a lot of positive press when it came out, and a lot of negative press after it came out. Not Alfarius donates twenty dollars. Thank you very much, sir. So if we're able to bribe you to play horror games now, my vote is for Resident Evil 2 remake after you beat this. I want to see you be forced to problem solve while being chased by monsters. I don't want to. I do not wish to problem solve. Especially not if I'm being chased at the same time. Oh, speaking of, this is perfect opportunity for that. That wasn't quite what I was hoping for, actually. Actually, I should have just detonated that. That would have been much better. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? You can spit on me now? Ow! Jesus Christ, that hurt. I wasn't aware that was a superpower you possessed. Oh, 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 oh. You're not dead, are you? God. Oh, thank you for the big heal. That was that was appreciated. Oh yeah, the game knew what it was doing there. It's like, yep. I know, I know. Here, have some health. Thanks. Thank you. The Ripper, I think, could be a lot of fun, but man, it needs more damage. It, it badly needs more damage. It needs a good load of pancakes, that's what it needs. It needs a nice big fat load of pancakes. Uh, Progress report filed by Jacob Temple. The engine problems aren't a malfunction. Someone shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves to hell and back. We just wasted an hour fixing them. Now we need to restart the south refueling station, but some jackass turned off the power and locked up the circuit. No engines? We're gonna hit planet fall soon. What now? There's gotta be someone around here how to spare access card goes. Wait, you hear that? Stabbers, go! I like the fact that you can kind of, you know, hear the engineers whilst they're trying to problem solve this. Whilst the monsters are there. You know, I really feel like horror games like this would be do... Uh, it would have way more... Hello, naked person. I feel like the horror games would have way more impact and atmosphere. Um, if there were actually people around, you know? Because, okay, listen to me. One of the, the big, like, uh, things in the horror games is there's always, like, a guy and you can't save the guy, right? Uh, the Bunker had that, this game has had that on multiple occasions, where there's a guy off in the distance and you can see him, and he's always gonna die just before you can help Service him. Guaranteed. And it's basically done to demonstrate that the monster is dangerous, right? I would love for there to be a game in which there's actually people on the station. In fact, maybe even better, maybe the people are a limited resource on the station. Uh, so that you can complete the entire game by yourself, if you need to. Oh, okay, that was just a corpse. I was wondering what the hell was crawling after me there. Um, but you can also choose to try and people to try and people uh, try and keep people alive. And in fact, keeping people alive will be uh, very much so encouraged. Isaac. Thank God. After the bridge, we thought that... Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I've tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. That would be nice. Please do help. Uh, no power. Okay, I need the, the red thing first. Uh, and that would give you, like, a reason to be attached to the people. So when you see a dude over there and he's about to die, you can save him. And maybe he'll be able to help you further down the line. Like, oh, hey, yeah, you're the dude who saved my life. Here, let me flip this switch so you don't have to go through that monster-infested hallway, for example. That could be really cool. Or hell, just even have them there to be saved for, um, you know, bragging rights, you know? They'll be like, oh my god, thank you, Jesus Christ, that was horrifying, you know? A human connection. And there might even, you'd have to set up little colonies aboard the ship. Like, okay, this is a safe zone. You know, go over there. 
and then it doesn't be it isn't a safe zone eventually because the monsters break in. You've got to maybe save them, but maybe you're doing something important. You really want to deviate from whatever you're doing to save them, etc. I don't know. I think that could, could be cool. Uh, but y yes, in effect, you you are capable of bribing me to play for video games, but. Uh, I will, I will need a, a demonstration that people are actually interested. Because again, life support or lighting? Lighting! Oh god, I can't tell which one is which one. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't want to turn off life support of all fucking things, right? Because, I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I feel like my commentary is shit in these games. I really do. I genuinely, unironically do. And I'm not saying that even just for the sympathy point. I genuinely do. Because half the time I'm just rambling on about random unrelated garbage. Or panicking, what I'm to. Alright, so life support goes under there and then goes up there. And then it, it stays on the underside. So that's life support, I think. Oh, we're about to find out. Oh, they're even marked. Okay, ne never mind then, I guess. I was all like, oh god, best not turn off the life support. Oh, th they're marked. They've got handy dandy markings right there. You'd have to be a retard to fuck that up. I'm very glad I didn't fuck that up, otherwise I would never have heard the end of it. Like, retard, you turned off the air. What's more important, arrow lights? Honestly, I think I might have preferred the lights. That was a good setup right there. So they draw your attention to the rear and they go like, Oh, uh, that, that vent got destroyed. That was no big deal. So you shouldn't pay attention when the other vent gets destroyed. And then there's a necromorph in that one. And then you're scared. And then you die. And then you scream. Sufficient fuel to fire primary engine. Okay, I've got a fuel reading. Only a quarter full, but it should be enough. I still need to get the centrifuge working before we start. Someone really screwed with these fuel lines. Ooh, hello. Sneaky babies. Come on, squirt your little tentacles. There you go, Vulcan or tentacle. Not today! Where's your little bro? There's a little buddy of yours. There he is. Old bitch ass babies. No match for Isaac Clark, the abortinator, the fetus smasher. I think I hear more. I do hear more. Are you a spitty one? You are! I can tell because you were going all like wiggly at me. Cannot trick Isaac Clark. Uh, Desert Hamster says, If you are donating so you would play horror games, please play Life is Strange. That's not a horror game, is it? I know what that is. I know what that video game is. I know you forced Kyle to play that. I don't know if I can be bought as cheaply as Kyle. <laughs> That's a very progressive video game. Uh, and I don't know if it's a horror game either. Compass Martin Don't Do says, The panic and rambling is what makes it fun, boss. Well, I am glad. I'm done over here right now. Alright? I think so. Hello, you can come with me. Right, you be right there. Alright, come at me. No! Just forget I'm that I'm ever lost. happened, please. That was mildly embarrassing. Just forget all about that. that just lovely? Ain't that just downright nice, in fact? Whoa! Hello! Get 
carved, you bitch. Like your Christmas turkey. No, this is not the right direction. Anything else? No? Good. Uh... Oh, am I leaving? Activate the centrifuge. Okay, let's save first. That seems reasonable. Uh, zero dollars, two dollars, thank you very much to say, did you ever play Other Side? It is horror adjacent. No, I haven't even heard of it. Other Side. This, is this where I'm going? Yes, this is where I'm going. I have not heard of it. I've been annoyed by the fact that I'm one like stasis charge down and I've been it so for ages like I like to but I like all of my bars to be full god damn it and I like it when one of my bars is emptier than my other bars that's no that's no good thank you for the money mandatory decontamination you know that sounds like a good idea, and it sounds like something you should have started doing a while earlier, if I may be honest with you. It sounds like something you should have started going for for a very long time ago. More and more I think about it, I think like a crisis management game would actually be a lot of fun. Ugh. Where you have to deal with like the the overrun space station, where you are the retarded captain, etc. And maybe maybe they could even because it would be too easy, right? If you could just be like, well, enormous growths in the engineering department threatening to choke the engines, mm, burn them out. Maybe you could have like IQ points, okay? Listen to me, <laughs> IQ points. Like you can only you can only do so many intelligent things before the video game is like, no, the captain ran out of intelligence. I'm sorry. I apologize, he was too retarded. So you have to kind of pseudo-guess what's going wrong, and then make the correct adjustments. More absences, it's not the unitologist, sneaking off for religious exemptions or whatever. We're seeing serious gaps in the rotation, people going on sick with sleep deprivation, self-inflicted injury, or just re-disappearing. They go off shift and they don't come back. Someone said the ship's been attacked. Bullshit, we're at the ass end of nowhere. Who'd come all this way to attack a mining ship? And yeah, the captain is dead, but Carmack say one of the bridge staff killed him. I swear to God, the rumors in this deck are out of control. Update. Lost contact with the bridge. No ring link, no security hardline, nothing. Okay, this is beyond rumors. Fuck this. I'm getting out whilst I still can. Well, as you said, sir, you are on a mining ship at the ass end of nowhere. Where exactly are you going to be getting out to? Can you step out and walk? I feel like there's probably going to be a very long way until the canary system. Uh, do I have any pancakes? I don't think I have any pancakes. I have one pancake. Well, um, or do I want to go with the Ripper? Let's try the Ripper. I really want to see if the Ripper can be made to be good, because I kind of like the Ripper. It's a cute little weapon. It's a good little weapon. Mr. Lactus donates 2,000 Japanese yen. A bare minimum, frankly, so um, I see you've got the little helmet as an icon there. You should be a bigger fan of this. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. They say, hey, Arch, no dad joke this time. You, you should really play the original trilogy by Visceral when it comes to Dead Space. The series was practically the best when it came to Slime for Horror and Lovecraftian alien nightmares. Oh. What did I just push? What did I just do? I don't know. I was too busy reading. I... Am I fine? No, I'm not fine. Baby! Oh, 
Ow. Why? What? How? You little. Lovecraft in the Alien Nightmare. Yes, yes. <laughs> ah. What? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> God damn it, Bill. That babies. Not a baby. Whoa! Okay. Decontamination, eh? Well, we certainly decontaminated something. Decontamination sequence complete. Thank you for your patience. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. And hey, to be fair, this is this is clearly a very good game. Like, even I, from all my hatred of horror, I'm quite enjoying this. This is not bad at all. I mean, it frightens me a little bit here and there, occasionally, but this is this is pretty good. It is definitely and very clearly a good video game. Medium pack schematic. I don't know what a medium pack is. Uh, right, do I have, like, a small health? I do. Let me, let me plunk one of those into my spine real quick. I can see why people like these games. Even if I personally like I I would never play this shit on my spare time, I swear to god. Like oh, oh. Cause art feels uncomfortable. <laughs> Not so uncomfortable that I'm bothered by it or anything, mind you, but like I am constantly wiping sweat off my palm. Okay, well those look like the little little snake aliens preferred tunnels I don't know if I want to stick my hand in there actually like look a growing thing put your hand in there oh yeah okay oh it was a semiconductor apparently those are valuable or so I've been told the bathroom signs I don't I haven't seen any weird bathroom signs so far not that I've noticed, anyways. I might simply have blanked on them, too. Yeah. Oh, the Nord says, uh, I feel like the baby monsters would be the most lethal on US soil. Can't abort them in red states, don't have the arsenal in blue states. Hmm, conundrum. Indeed. Oh, no. Not one of these. Oh, no, not one of these again. I don't like these places. I don't like the zero G. I don't like it. One more for safety. I don't like the zero G stuff, God. Ooh. Hi there. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't notice that at first. Oh boy, well, I guess we know where the missing crew vent. Ah, yes indeed. That's rather ghastly. Hmm. Well, again, you know, it's it's nice that we now know where the missing crew, uh, crew have gone to. That's very useful. Now, the mystery, we'd, we wouldn't want to keep the mystery going for too long, obviously. Of course, of course. Ah, finally, I'm full blue again. What's that? Uh, oxygen, sure, I'll take it. Health. Anything else glowing out there? Oh. We shall restart the centrifuge. Uh, I guess I'm going down here. Uh, oh boy.
I hear ya, but I don't see ya. There you are. Screamy bastard. I've gotten severely turned around. Literally, in fact. Okay. Uh, was I not supposed to come down here? Hmm. Now I'm lost. Okay, well. I mean, centrifuge. That indicates that that thing is going to start moving. Which indicates that this area is going to turn into what a little bit of a little bit of a hazardous zone. But well, it's not a hazardous zone yet, so I guess I guess I'm safe until it does become a hazardous zone. Oh, am I supposed to give that like a good push or something? Uh, right. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. No, 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 that way. Paris is the question. Fire is the answer. Oh. Oh, hello there. You dead? Yep. Uh, what? Stasis? Stasis at first. Okay, let's see. I'm presuming we need more like that. Oh. Little bastard. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, more things like that. Uh, there's another thing like that up here, probably. Yes, there is. I feel like this is going to end very poorly when this thing starts spinning, but oh well. I'm sure that's fine. Generator module attached. Clutch engaged. All personnel clear for centrifuge restart. Oh, okay. Let me get the fuck out of here. Right. I think I'm clear, video game. Ah, of course not. It couldn't be quite that simple, could it? I've gotta- I've gotta go down there to press the buttons, don't I? Of course I do. Uh, right. Fine, fine. Let's see. Is there something resembling a giant on button here somewhere? I'm a bit sad that the video game isn't pointing me where to go right now. Hmm. Start button, start button. Is there a giant start button? Where would it normally be? Like, I'm presuming on top, right? Right? That would be a... I don't trust you. Uh, that does not look like a start button. Start button. Start button. Start button. 
Or is it the command room? I mean, hmm. Clutch engaged, activate console. Console? That's locked, so it's not back that way, clearly. But look for the place you would least want it to be. That seems like a good point, chat, yes. Alright, if I was an enormous fucking retard and I designed this machine specifically to kill people, where would I put the clutch? Uh, probably directly in front of one of the giant spinny things. Or at the very bottom ring or something. Like, for example, down here. <laughs> Nothing there. Is that gone? No, that's just an elevator. Boom, 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 boom. That's just air. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And then she's empty nothings. Where the fuck? I've flown past it twice now? I probably have, but I. And that's something? No. Is it on the thing itself? I mean, that would be very stupid. That's just oxygen, right? Yes, that's just oxygen. God damn it. What the fuck is it? Where the actual fuck is it? Uh, is it back there? That gives me the recharge. It's not that. It's not in there. And that's locked. So it's gotta be in here somewhere. Is it over there? There is a blinky light over there that I haven't, I think, visited. Elevator to lower levels. That doesn't sound like it, but these do look like command consoles. Ha! There we are. Manually ignite the engine. I feel like this was poorly designed. If this is standard operating procedure, opening up the centrifuge to space. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Oh boy. When you are. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. This is very poor design. I don't think this is a wise design at all. I think this is extraordinarily... Oh, Jesus, no. And a one, and a two, and a splat. I think this is exceptionally poor design. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Yep, definitely exceptionally poor design. Stop that. Oof. Definitely very poor design. Oh, the runs just keep getting longer. Oh boy. Ah, yes. J 
Just another day aboard the Ishimura, restarting the engines. There's no spinny thing out here, right? Good. Oh, Jesus. Well, there's no spinny thing, but there is that. You dead? You're not dead. My lack of oxygen causes me to use far more bullets than entirely necessary to kill the enemy. Calm down, Isaac. It's just a little bit of lack of oxygen. You're fine. I'm presuming this is bad. I should probably shoot at the uh, giant orange glowy bits, I'm thinking. Well, that was sudden. I think my fears about the giant space tentacle monster have been uh, properly... properly... Uh, I forgot that English. Properly confirmed. Orbital position approaching critical. Correct course immediately. Yeah, correct course. Or else. But I never checked what was down the other end here. Ah, secret. Is it a pancake? It's a pancake. Good. The air seems to be full of spores. Hmm. That might be bad for my health, but oh well. Eh. Considering everything going on on this platform, resp respiratory disease is probably going to be the last thing that's going to get me, so... Alright, decontamination chamber, my old friend. Let's, uh... Oh. Are we not going to need to? Oh. A very generous of you. I thought we were going to have to go through that every time. The voices in my head. They tell me to kill everyone around me. With a chainsaw, incidentally. With a circular saw, actually, in this case. Subnautica in VR. Hmm. That sounds like it would be mildly uncomfortable, honestly. Sadwings Ragings donate $8.49 without any message. So I guess it uh, might have been eaten by YouTube. Entirely possible. That does happen. Got it. Isaac, fuel storage is unlocked. Uh-oh. It'll give you access to the engine chamber. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I don't like the look of that. It's like, you cannot save here. Are you about to fuck me, video game? No, it's not. Come on, let me start the engine already. Mm. Entering zero gravity. No. Oh boy, giant spinning blades of doom and death and torture. Oh wow, boy. DC was here for more than just a mining claim, huh? What do you mean? This outbreak started on the colony after the miners dug up some artifacts. Something alien. That's impossible. But it would explain why EG7 is meant to be off limits, right? Earth plus orders. When the miners found the artifact, they reported hallucinations, paranoia, suicides. But the Ishimura brought this marker on board anyway. Like that was a plan. Wait. The marker. Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? In cargo. All packaged up for delivery. Our marker. 
guard scrupulous corporations doing scrupulous corporation stuff. Who would have known? Who could have thought? They are doing things that they shouldn't. They are playing with things that they should not play with. Whoa. That still seems really fucking fast to me. Am I entirely sure about this? Am I entirely fucking sure about this? Ugh, okay, I thought I died there for a moment. Oh, I've got one charge left, perfect. Just enough to get out of here. Ideal. Ah oh, yes, stasis. Remember, when you need to slow the blades, use stasis first. Don't take any security precautions and actually have, stop the lost. blades or anything. That would be terrible. Like, can you imagine? No, no, no. Just slow them down a little bit and then, you know, hope and pray that they don't chop you into little strips of pepperoni. Whoa! Why did you need to do that then? Well, at least it gave me back the health it stole from me, at least. That's nice of it. I'm going to stab you in the back with my stinger now. And I'm going to give you basically no warning. Okay. But it gave me back my health, so... Okay, that was a very loud room. Uh huh. Just a very massive fucking random engine department, I guess. Thank you. Now, don't start moving or anything. Get worked up, but play with flames and get burned. Oh, a flamethrower. You don't say. You don't say. Well, well, well. Short range of a torch, it can be used in environments without oxygen. Primary fire, fire wall. How very goopy. How very goopy. Oh. Alright, cutscene time. It's time to have some dude reach out at me from the wall and go like. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Pull, pull the player's attention towards that and then. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. I know you got it in you. And blah! I told you there'd be blah. There will always be blah in such places. Cannot escape the blah. Is that another pancake I spy? It is indeed. Delicious, delicious pancakes. Who doesn't love a good little pancake? Engineering log. My last log. Temple reporting. I can't raise anyone on Rickling. I think my team is gone. I found the you think? module that someone used to bust the centrifuge. Burned out. Who would sabotage the Ishimura at a time like this? I'll report to the bridge. If anyone's left. And then I'm finding Elizabeth. 
and getting us the hell off this ship. Oh, you might find Elizabeth all right, but I don't think she'll be quite the girl you remember. I think she might have undergone some rather radical changes since last time you saw her. In fact, I think the odds of that are severely massive. What? Oh, that place, right. Okay, fair enough. Water, if I don't, it's $5 to say. To be fair, the engineers did not expect the giant alien growth to bisect the scaffolding. That's true as well. I don't like the arms coming out of his, uh, his, you know, his, his abdomen there. That seems unfortunate. Well, this is dark. What's that? Bench. Nano circuit repair. I think I've got a couple of pancakes. A couple more pancakes in the ripper. And a bit more flamer fuel. I'm presuming we're about to be introduced to a new enemy type that the flamer is effective against. Very appetizing. Whoa! Yep. 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 And that was the new enemy type the flamethrower was about to be expected against. A tiny little undead mice things or something. See, the game is like, hey, uh, this one will shoot a wall of flame. Oh, hey. Well, sorry about this. Well, he doesn't scream, which means he's evil. Kill him. There, dead necromorph. The game tried to startle me with a little bit of a jump scare. What the game did not know was that I wasn't actually paying attention. I did use quite a lot of flame refuel, but not too bad, I guess. Oh. This is what we like to call a boss room. Okay, maybe we should get out something with a bit more ammunition before we enter into this, then. Whoa! Okay, you're a suicide bomber. Run, 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 run! Yep. Oh, hello. Uh, well, that was unfortunate. Uh, e, 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 E. Oh, even more unfortunate. Well, fuck me. I should have brought it for a flamethrower. Okay, do I have any... Uh, yes, I can use that. No, not like that. Oh, console. Yours? Eh, use that one too. I keep saving them for no particular fucking reason. It's like, let's our bring out the Ripper. Like, oh yes, aren't you forgetting something? We're introducing you to a new enemy type that's specifically designed to be killed by the flamethrower. Perhaps you should keep the flamethrower out. No, 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 no. That would be... That would be downright foolish. Oh, of course. Oh, fucking cool. Oh, not... Oh, ooh, ooh, you little... Oh, you little video game, you. Oh, you little fucking video game, you. Me, you too. Oh, 
don't think I want to go down there. those are actually dangerous. I don't think I'm going to bother finding out. And I'm pretty sure they're dead. Goodies? No. Fuck me. I'm not leaving here without a full charge. Almost got myself snapped in half there. That would have been embarrassing. There we go. Now we can kill one of these with a single, uh, single little spinny blade. Much better. Uh oh. You little cheaty bitch. There's not a whole lot of room to dodge in this tunnel. Okay, now I'm just wasting ammo. And I continue to waste ammo. It's like that weapon. Ah, well, that was a tremendous waste of ammunition, but... I lived. I suppose that's going to have to be good enough. Oh, don't worry, video game. I'm sure it's gonna, it's gonna last long enough to allow me to get that get there safely. Your video game thinks that you should hurry now because video game thinks the ship is gonna crash into the planet. No, 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 it's not going to. We're fine. Okay, that's the detour. I'll go there first then. It would be mildly funny if the game actually did crash the ship now. Like, you took too long. Like, how the fuck did I have known? You never bother me with time limits. Not until there is an actual time limit on screen, anyways. That's when you need to know that you need to start running. Okay, we are getting quite far off track now, but... To your control room. Okay, that... That's probably just the way we're gonna go to leave then. Fair enough. We'll turn around. Authorized personnel only. I may not be authorized, but I am here. And you cannot stop me. Is it just you? It can't be just you, right? Is it really just you? Ah. There we go. I do like the Ripper. Oh. Engine power failure. Power cells begin ignition sequence. I have learned since last we met. I have grown unquantifiably more clever, you filthy little. Are you still alive? Oh, 
Back to the point. I have learned since last we met. I have grown unquantifiably more clever. And you shall not screw me with your little undead chipmunk things ever again. For I now know your weakness, fat man. I could have used some of these explosives as well, but I didn't. Schematic? Inventory full? Well, we can't have that. Um... I really need to get to a shop at some point in the not-too-distant future. Power required to restart engines. God, it's always something, isn't it? Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. Start spinning this turbine. Okay, this turbine's spinning. Now what? Well, now you need the engine to start up. Okay. I've started the engine up. Well, now you need to power the engine. Oh, God damn it! Could somebody not have made the system a pinch more simplistic? What do you think I am? A fucking engineer or something? Jesus. Right. I'm sure there's a power button here somewhere. Well, that looks like a power thing. Warning. Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. Working on it. If I was a power cell, where would I be? Well, since I'm in a video game, I should be somewhere close by. I would be somewhere nearby. Like over there, for example. And prepare your butthole to be swarmed by enemies. Oh, spitter. I don't like the spitters, I don't. I think they're vile, I do. Whoa, hello. Stop doing this to me. Oh, bastards. Ah, God. It's a lot of you, isn't there? Oh, God. That's just the noise of the ship being crazy. I should probably only carry, like, one or two things, uh, one or two weapons, shouldn't I? Uh, small head pack, yep. Because I feel like the game is giving me a variety of ammunition. Which means that if I'm carrying multiple weapons, I'm actually eating up a lot of slots in my inventory. Which might not be ideal. I really also should be using that, uh thing more often, the whole impale them with their own claws thingy, but I've also been getting decent ammunition so far, so I'm not, you know, pressed on the matter. Hmm. Let your tools do the talking. Engines Oh, that was the engine. I have, I have lost. Anything in trying to eat me? No? Nice. I have successfully saved the ship from smacking into the planet. No doubt I will ice will receive. Isaac, you did it. You bought us time to figure it out. Autopilot 
taking us into geostationary orbit. Wait, you're flying this whole planet crash debris? That's what the asteroid defense is used for. But the ADS is all gone. I've got the system right up here. Fuck you in particular. Daniels, give me all the data you have. I'll try to adjust course. Isaac, you disable the tram lockdown from engineering. I'll open up the bridge station. Meet me there. We need to work on this together. Oh, yes. I wouldn't expect you to be able to do this by yourself, boss. That would be, uh, that would be pretty impossible, wouldn't it? That would be rather difficult, wouldn't it? Sandoom donates $2 to say next thing to do is pray to the machine spirits. Eat. Hello, baby. Whoa, okay, that's a problem. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. Yep, that's a big problem. I got it. Oh, got him. That is a tremendous problem. <sighs> that was a lot of hit points I really didn't need to lose. That was just a thoroughly shit engagement in every single way. That was just terrible. Well, going through my health nice and quick sure does free up that inventory space, which is uh, great. I don't like being on three health bars. I feel like that's a bad thing. Well, that was quite the fucking noise, wasn't it? I still don't believe you, video game. I still think she's dead. Or at very least, close enough to which the point it makes little difference. Gellifeed Hydrazine. Flamethrower. Ricochet Tracer. Whatever the hell that is. Obdulio says, now you played quite a bit. How are you feeling? Not nearly as bad as you thought. Dead Space 2 goes even further into action with Michael Bay action like sequence against much like Resident Evil did after 4 with 5 and 6. No, this, this isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It's, uh, it's still a bit spooky, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad, at least, yeah. Uh, Paul Shrive Love Proud. No. Uh, Rickshaw Tracer brings parts of those extend their prepared path and gain access to special upgrades. Special upgrades. That's really expensive, though. I don't know if I want to do that because that's a lot. Like I, ha I have had no use for the oxygen so far. So the game also puts stasis packs pretty much whenever I need them. So I don't really need those either, frankly. Uh, plasma cutter upgrade. Okay, so that's for the cutter. The cutter is by far the best one, though. But I like the Ripper. Like, I want to use the Ripper more, because it is pretty cute. But I, I'm obviously going to want the plasma gun thing, so let's get that first. Because the plasma gun upgrade is going to be the best upgrade. The plasma gun upgrade is great. It's a great gun. It is a great little gun, so we shall prioritize that first and foremost. And I'll buy the Ripper afterwards, because... I mean, I don't really need it right now, for the simple reason that I don't have anywhere near enough pancakes to get both of them anyways.
Why are you doing the spooky lighting? I thought I was just going to traverse now. Go to bridge. What? Oh, there we go. Lifting station lockdown. Good. Nothing on the track. Go to bridge. The job done is two euros. Say, don't forget you have a quick heal button. Yes, F. Mm, I don't. I am not doing grand on fucking heals, am I? I really am not. I really, really am not. I might. Maybe I should have even bought some. We're in three hits. It's not awful, but it's certainly not great. I'm kind of hoping that we will arrive at a little bit of a hub world, maybe now. You know? Isaac, I'm looking at the ADS cannons. They're a mess. I'm gonna need your help. I am not uh -huh. losing the Ishimura. Not now. The Ishimura Hammond or the Mothman? That artifact they found? Don't bullshit us. CEC knew all along about the marker, didn't they? Isn't that why you're really here? Corporate wouldn't send the Ishimura for some off the books mining. But alien technology, yeah, that fits. And oh, I think I just wasted one. Oh well. Into this theory. Hey, knock this shit off. We're into the debris field. We get the ADS back together, or it's over. Then meet me at the captain's nest. Daniels. Fine. But I'm going through the ship reports, Hammond. I'm getting some answers. You yeah, boy, I'm gonna report you to Daddy. She is too, that's the worst part. Off to the right. Save station right off the bat. Convenient and disconcerting at the same time. I wish I was security level two, but I am not. Jesus. Okay. All right. Well, that was something. Guaranteed citizenship. That was definitely something. Oh, a corpse. Not left that go unstumped. Uh, well, actually, I was just out of store, wasn't I? So there's not going to be anything particularly interesting here. Yes, there's nothing particularly interesting here. I do have 23,000 credit. I'm tempted to buy another pancake, but... I don't know. I kind of want to... I don't know. Like... I don't know. How many pancakes do I actually have? I own zero pancakes. I'm tempted to purchase two more pancakes. Because I haven't gotten that many more pancakes, really. And I do like pancakes. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's splurge on a couple of pancakes, shall I? Splurge on a couple of pancakes. Couple of pancakes. Oh. Oh, this looks bad. This looks like one of those we're going to give you plenty of room to get attacked by something rooms. Mm -hmm. 
All breeds detected, you don't say. Close the shutters, computer. Fucking a panic over some minor okay. asteroid, you know. At least it came in a life Swamming apart, through the bridge. So far. Security request. Some light retreat. asteroid showerage, no big deal. What in God's name is that? Oh, I think that's gonna be the next boss fight then. Like, what, whatever in God's name that was. Presumably. So we've had snake monsters so far, and we have little tiny monsters. We've got the usual stabby monsters. Like, what we don't have yet is like a big, fat, like tanky, brutey monster or something. That's, that's probably what we're gonna get for next, some big, fat enemy. Because we've also got a suicider, don't we? And we've got a ranger, too, so... Oh, well, mother... Bitch! Okay, fine. Where am I going? Over there. Meet Captain Hammond. Oh, save station, too. Yeah, but so some kind of big boy is what I'm expecting. We've got a flyer as well. Either that or some kind of aerial attack kind of guy, some wizard, a wizard. That you gotta like dodge his like little spell thingies or something that splat the ground. There's a tentacle monster, but I don't I don't think you're gonna be fighting the tentacle monster. If anything, you're gonna be environmentally killing the tentacle monster, right? No, no, keep that rifle close. Yeah, keep your rifle by your side. The one that attacked me. I managed to trap him in here. His face. I'm not seeing things, right? That's Chen. You probably should just have killed him. You can't help him, Hammond. He's... You're right. I should... The hell with it. Sayonara, freak! Escape pod? Johnston too. At least she was spared becoming a monster. Escape? Hold on. Now, but buddy, you just fix this hammock. You just fired out an escape pod. That means that has the beacon on it. Come on. Some poor fucker's gonna find that, you know? Uh, Hammond, that was ha ha Hammond, that was very Hammond, that was very dumb! That was very stupid, Hammond! I thought it was like a pressurized chamber or something. Hammond! Hammond, you tard! <sighs> well, I guess that's partially my fault for not telling him about how these fucking things work, but there you go. Here. All I can tell is the idiot's Stop. power router is shot. Well, the administration Stop. systems aren't doing much. We could redirect power from there. I'd need to rewire the junction boxes, but we get the ADS cannons back. Good. Isaac, about what Daniel said. I don't know about any illegal mining or the marker. You're very I close, swear, sir. Here for like, really? Seriously? Look, Hammond, I don't know you or Daniels well enough to judge. But CEC Kek. had to know about the marker. The company, maybe. But shit like that's above my pay grade. Look, we can get into it later. You'll need a way down to those junction boxes. You can turn the atrium elevators back on from security. You'll have full access. I found a CEC executive key card. I'll upgrade your clearance. Why, thank you, Hammond. And you upgraded yours already? Yeah, just in case. And Isaac? I heard something up there. Something big. Watch your back. You don't say. Thank you for the warning, Captain Obvious. Like, I heard more noises in the walls, Isaac. You should be careful. Oh. Well, if you say so. I mean, I haven't really noticed anything weird going on about the ship here myself, frankly, but, uh, you know. If you say there's some weird shit in the walls, I, I guess I'll have to listen to you.
Oh. Now the big room starts to make sense, doesn't it? Because that save station is in a very obvious spot when you emerge, isn't it? All right. Good your loins, chat. We're going to go into this with, I think, uh, no health whatsoever. No, we, we have one point of healing. Okay. Right. Space monster in three, two, one. Kablooey. No? No? Seriously. Heresy is the question. Huh. Fire is the answer. <laughs> you sure? You're absolutely certain. Pause it. Yep, there we go. Ah! Tank monster. Uh-oh. Well, that was unfortunate. This is a terrible idea. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. Uh-oh. Mm, this is a bad idea, too. Okay. Stand still a little bit. Oh, wow. This is just a terrible... This is just the worst idea. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is a... Whoa, okay. Well, that was sudden. Hmm, okay. Uh, let me see. You've got some orange gloop on your side. Are those glowing fuck me spots? They are. Well. Was that it? Oh, that wasn't that bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, I mean, it hurt when he punched me in the face, but otherwise... That was actually not that bad. Huh. I mean, it ate my last health pack, so... Uh, that's, that's a bit annoying, but otherwise... Of course, level 3. Obviously, not too this. Yep. I am glad I noticed the glowing fuck me spots before I ran out of stasis, though. This is mutiny. The marker must be delivered to the church, whatever the cost. God's sakes, Ben, listen to yourself. The issue where in crisis, you've cut us off. <laughs> By Maritime Law, Article 5469, I, Dr. Terence Kine, hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. Hold on. Ben, you're not yourself. Let me help you. Traitors, get your hands off me! This is my ship! Oh! Whoops. Oh my god, he's... Oh, right in the eyeball! Nice, Donk! You saw I was trying to help him. Doctor, you... You just killed the captain. We have to take you in. I can't. If the others from the church get a hold of me. Stop! Nice fucking vitality, sir. Now we'll point out a hypodermic needle to your eyeball, whilst uncomfortable, is unlikely to kill your ass. Especially that quickly. Unless he managed to jab that sucker right, like, deep into his brain, and even then, a hypodermic needle's pretty thin, like... Oh well, details. Uh, Cedo donates two pounds to ask, did you play the Fear games? I did not, no. I cannot say I have. Uh, Obdulio, what... Resident Evil 4 did to the horror games was good for you, but bad for us horror fans, as it diluted the horror by focusing too much on the RE4-inspired combat, which turned the majority of them into third-person shooters rather than proper horror games. Yep, I have heard that. That is a that is a common complaint. Which I can totally sympathize with as well, because, you know, if it was something I liked, then it got turned into something very different. Damage over time to each shot, and that sounds pretty cute. Uh, then I would not necessarily be overly fond of that either. TBA113 says, Pulse Rifle can give infinite cash. Drop a mine, act to deactivate it, turns into ammo, drop you can grab. Rinse repeat, fill inventory, sell profit. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, interesting. Uh, the whole sent turns five dollars to say, which was worse, the big guy or the chandelier, chandelier fight from Atomic Heart? 
Oh, chandelier fight by a million trillion zillion miles. Like, that bit guy was, was easy peasy. Oh, it wasn't even difficult. I hated the chandelier. I hated that a lot. Uh, reload, or rate of fire. I mean, honestly, a 1.5 second reload time isn't really a problem to begin with. There. Damage over time. Now that sounds nice. That sounds nifty. Nifty pifty. Not finding a lot of flamethrower fuel, am I? 20 rounds. Hmm. Oh, I supposed to go that way. Atrium elevators are now online. Oh, a whole heaping heck of a lot of list of stuff to do. Uh, four two, I guess. Gonna be opening over there, isn't it? Yep. Hello, little monsters. I am Isaac. I have come to purge you all from existence. I have very little hit points, so if you could be a little bit cooperative on the matter, that would be fantastic. I am probably gonna have to buy some health soon. I don't like using money on health, but, you know. Health is the only reason why you are alive, so you might wanna you might wanna consider spending some on that. Farewell to you too, I guess. Did you uh throw any money on you? You did, good. Ooh. Delicious pancake. Oh, and air too! Oh perfect. Pancake and air in the same spot. Could it get any better? I doubt it. How the fuck there was still air in that room? I don't know, considering, you know, the vacuum really should have sucked that out, but I suppose we shan't complain too loudly. Isaac, I'm reading electrical hazards on the floor ahead of you. 60 year old dead plane doesn't play well with power surges. Watch your step. Uh huh. Clearance confirmed. I'm gonna get fried if I step on the wrong thing. Lovely. But what if I don't want to be fried? Contact energy. What? Contact energy? Oh, contact beam. Uh huh. Okay. A giant red gun of some sort. Uh righty then Paris is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Contact beam, heavy duty energy projector. Okay. Uh heavy energy projector launches continuous beam hold primary fire as ast asteroid cutter. Uh huh. Asteroid Cutter, I see. They're speaking French to me over the speakers. I don't like it very much. There wasn't a save point in there, was there? Because I feel like I should... I feel like I deserve a save point at this point. I've come quite far. You sure? Seriously? I probably should have saved after defeating the boss, but... Whoa! Okay, well... Jesus! That was not as impressive as I was hoping. Whoa! Well, dealt with that. Nice and easy. Where's your ball, your The fuck? In a clown car up there or something? Jesus. I don't know if I like that one. Go in there. Hello. Clearance confirmed. 
Yeah, that looks like a pretty shit place to be, honestly. Isaac Clark, I can step on the ground with such fury that I blow up wall connections. Which is pretty impressive. Okay, we've got a bit of engagement range here, so the pistol's probably, uh, probably me best bet. I'm still kind of desperately hunting for a save point, if I'm to be honest. The complete and utter lack of any and all, uh, health. It's got me a pinch nervous. Um, the front table's first to go, probably attack the cola, must be real, must be real, probably just having some index, this is real. Okay. There are people that think they can still be alive on this ship. I applaud their naivete, even as I point out that they're probably not going to be alive on this ship for very, very much longer. Okay, one health. Well, one health is more than zero health. Right, don't step on the giant blue glowy bits. Relatively self-explanatory. More health? Oh, nice. Are you hiding something? No. Dum dum dum. Gifts. Gifts plenty. Pancakes! Okay, while well, we put the pancakes in, um. I feel like the plasma, plasma cutter is really fucking upgraded now. I don't know if we necessarily need any more of the plasma cutter. But the suit could really use some stuff, couldn't it? Stasis energy or stasis duration? Um, energy, because I want that hit points. We're going to put like three points in the suit, and after that we're probably going to refocus in on the Ripper. I think my weapon of choice will be Pistol and Ripper. And then maybe I'll keep uh, Flamethrower for like area incineration stuff. Because I wasn't that impressed by the laser cannon. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't like super like the laser cannon. I'm sure it's good for what it's supposed to be good at, but... Uh, I mean, hell, it didn't even kill, like, a Necromorph straight out with a fully charged shot, so I'm a little... a little disappointed. Okay. We got babies. Ow. I was pretty sure I got you there, but apparently not. Luckily, my armor ate that one, so I'm not too, not too sad, not too sad. Contact energy. I really want a save point. I'm getting super goddamn nervous. I'm gonna fuck up soon, just due to shared nervousness, and I'm gonna mess this up, and I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna be like, oh god. I'm going to step in one of the giant, easily spotable blue light cones. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, mining ADS cannons. Just got an update. Power device Ooh. from Mining Administration Network. That's one. You still need more power. A couple more systems should do it. That was probably serious overkill, but... Whoa, hello. There's more of yours in there. Yep, there is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Making a dog's dinner out of this. 
Yep. Very much so. You're not dead yet. Are you not? How the hell are you not dead yet? <sighs> well, that was two very unnecessarily lost hit points. I'll tell you, the whole, like, you gotta aim for the specific body parts, that was a... That was a piece of brilliant design right there, because goddamn, it does stress you the fuck out. Holy hell does it stress you the fuck out. That was a very, very clever piece of design that they did there. Entering vacuum. Entering vacuum. Prepare for a roar that sounds a lot like a monster to make you hesitate for just a second, but it's not actually a monster. You're just being nervous because there's so many other monsters all around you. I'm very glad that they doesn't attack you with enemies very often there. You know, no, I should go up to the first floor and actually save before we continue any further. That would be the intelligent thing to do. Okay, okay, fine video game. You got me with that one. Good job. You got me with that one. I'm gonna go save now before you frighten me again. Another Texan bull done his two dollars say another arch is streaming on my birthday. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And Obdulio, I uh, don't send the three dollars to say, I'm really not a fan of upgrade systems that upgrades damages on weapons because all they seem to lead to every new weapon being a water gun. Sort of like finding a new companion RPG and a level one while the rest of your party is level 15. In hello. Yep. I can sort of see that. You little shitty ceiling huggers. Yeah, and I just found so much health, too. Like, I'll just go back and save real quick. Oh, you know. And get rid of some of my hit points as well, just to make... Just to be sure. Someone clip that says chat. Again, if, you, uh, if you've got anything that you think is a funny clip... Uh, you can clip it, or even just put the timestamp in and send it to my Twitter. The uh, Twitter should be in the description down below, and I can turn them into shorts and stuff for shits and giggles. Right. Did I save? I forgot. Did I save? Well, let's do it again, just to be sure. There, now I'm pretty sure I've saved. Because it does, it does, like, this this gun here is amazeballs now, right? And if I wanted to get another gun to be as amazeballs, I could do it, because I need to just, like, reset it. Uh, for... Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. That's the wrong elevator, isn't it? That is the wrong elevator. Uh, streamline donations? I've, uh... What if I don't fucking want to make you whole again, huh? What about that? How about that? How about goodbye? Fuck you. Uh, I've been looking. I've been checking there. Uh, you, have I missed the stream lab? Got her games. Played a quite a bit. Uh, Abdelio. Abdelio. Yeah, I've I've been checking the stream labs. I I think I'm caught up. I think so. Right now, other elevator. that elevator, because that one has a little green diamond next to it, which means it's probably important. Right, I've got, like, what, is that, is that two, or is that three hit points I'm lacking? I'm actually not fucking sure. I felt like I picked up more HP than that. Did I just not pick it up somehow? Oh well. We're back up to full again now.
Oh, they've got that. There's the fucking save. Oh. oh, well. At least we were absolutely certain when we saved the other place, too. So, you know. We know now. Now we are sure. Now we are whole again. Lots of explosive crates. That's always good. If I'm going that way, then this way is probably something interesting. Well, yep, it's definitely something interesting. What's that? A recording? Huh. Must be the marker they dug up. So it is the same. That marker. That's the symbol of the Church of Unitology. It didn't take you for a believer, Isaac. My mother was. But if they found this on some alien planet, what does that mean? That Unitology's onto something? Unitology's full of shit. Forget it. 78 billion of stock in multi-global companies knows two of Earth's largest financial institutions. It's the e It's fucking ESG! ESG is the Church of Unitology. You know, that makes a lot of sense, everything considered. I mean, the ones we've got on Earth today are already monstrous little shits worshipping the worst in human nature, so clearly, this makes a tremendous amount of sense. That's a lot of goodies in there. Let me guess. The door is locked. Indeed. I always fucking knew there was something fishy about ESG. Oh. I, I habitually reach for F5 the moment I see the sparky floor. And then I realize, nope, this game isn't gonna be so nice. Well, at least it gave me a save point a little while ago, so. Aw, oh, poor little baby got zappied. How tragic. Oh, very tragic indeed. Poor little baby guys, happy wappy. Truly, a terrible thing to behold. You know, I feel like this place is in a kind of ridiculous state of disrepair, if I'm to be entirely honest. Like Christ. This does not look like a place that is even remotely functioning, does it? I wonder if I can... Aha! Whoa! Hi there! You fucking scared me, you little shit. Run. Oh. Yeah, step into the buzzy buzzies. <laughs> oh shit. You still there? Like I was saying, this place doesn't really look like it's functional at all. This place looks like it should have crashed into the planet even without my help, honestly. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Wait, now, can I? No, of course not. That'd be really retarded. My, If I could stasis lightning, I would start wondering about the technological prowess of this fucking civilization. Oh, no. No. Oh, right. Aim and then do the thing. Oh, fuck. Well, this is... This is a less than ideal position to be in. God damn it. Hold still for a bit longer, buddy. There we go. Oh. You are actually pretty easy. You know, except for the fact that I let you punch me in the face and eat half of my fucking health before I did that, but still. 
The place is in what we might refer to as a state of disrepair. Now on the bright side, they do always bring me pancakes, which I do appreciate. I just wish they wouldn't punch me in the face first. One health. One health is better than no health. Another health. Another health, thank you. Video game is keeping me alive. Oh, yeah, that looks safe. Oh, yeah, that looks... Oh, well, there's that meteor from earlier. Um... Okay, well, I'm presuming if I, like, over there. No, like, no. Don't freeze them over there. Well, we screw that one up. Wait until they're over there. Then freeze them. There. And use off. Voice. Okay, I'm seeing a power reroute from the electrical system. Just watch the outlets. The grid's unstable. That's two. One more system and we'll have power for the ADS. You know, just once, little Mr. Blackman, I wish you could do this instead of me. Well, I know you'd just die, and then I'd have to go do it myself anyway, but you know what? I kind of still would like that for that to happen. I would still kind of like for you to try, you know, and fail miserably, so that you could come back as a ghost and be like, Hey, Isaac, you were a really good boy, weren't you? Like, you helped me out so much, and I didn't even say thank you. I just ordered you to do the next dumb thing. I'm sorry. That would have been a good thing for a ghost to say, but no. Instead, here we are. And if I'm really lucky, that power outage will have turned off the energy to the door. Which, it did not. Uh, there was a save point here, wasn't there? I cracked the Ishimura's Metsai reports. They're a fucking horror show. Yeah, don't they say. mold any dead tissue into a new form. One kind infects corpses, and the rest... Make more corpses to infect. That organic shit on the walls. That's dead tissue, too. The crew thought it was a habitat changer. Well, I mean, that's all it was. I'm gonna run some diagnostics. I think that's just spreading. Oh, uh -huh. yes, yes. I can, in fact, I can, in fact, inform you that it is spreading. I can tell you for a fact because I've been fighting it for the last few hours. Not only is it spreading, it's incredibly hostile as well. Hmm. Like, I'm wondering if there's not a way in here, because it's clearly showing me the goods, right? So it, it might be testing my intellect. My intel intellect, yes. It might be attempting to test my intellect. Okay. Alright, well, I can do that. Aha! Me intellect, big. Me intellect, solid. Sizable. Incomparable to that of normal uh, rats and mice, I suppose. Mm. Oh, fuck you. Really? Really? Is my level 3 intelligence not enough? No. No, we need... God, the entire room was pointless. Level 3 security clearance required. Well, eat me, you little... God... Damn. Cock teasing, son of a. <sighs> and after such a tremendous display of intellect, too. I'm quite disappointed by that, actually. Okay, well, back up to the place I was.
I wonder if I'm gonna get ambushed by little snake people again. Nope, looks like we're good. We'll do another save. For safety's sake. Even though I'm sure there's going to be a save point literally the moment I get off this elevator, I will nevertheless save, regardless. I wonder if the guy who was there has gotten sick of waiting on me. And it's like, make us horror again. And then I just left. And then he got sad, because he figured that was a good way to make friends, you know? Good opening line. For you, but it is completely fucked. I'm not sticking around in case whatever did it comes back, and neither should you. It looks like the admin staff went to the mining deck to meet up with the other survivors. I'll head to the If you aren't with them, I'll find a way to contact you. I promise. And there was the same point I said would be right outside the elevator. You know, game, you really should give me more pancakes. Uh oh. This is. Perhaps the worst weapon for this. Uh. Hey, there were more of you in there. <laughs> fun, bitch, fun. Oh my god. There we go. I do quite like the Ripper. The Ripper is cute. We enjoy its company. More credits. Uh, water purification, ADS cannons. Right, well, that one. Water purification to ADS cannons. We got it. The ADS cannons are back online. We. Wait, auto targeting offline. Calibration data not found. Fuck. No auto targeting. The cannons are useless. What about manual targeting? You want to go out there with all that shit raining down and target the ADF cannons manually? If I give the cannons enough targeting data, it'll recalibrate the system. You got a better idea? Christ. I'll open exterior access. I hope you know what you're doing. I am Isaac Clark. I am now going to go outside in the asteroid storm and get my skull smashed in. I'm presuming that's that way? Yep. Figured. I wonder if I'm gonna be fighting Snexomorphs on the roof now. In zero G. I wonder. I wonder indeed. Maybe the Snexomorph monster will come after me too, the big tentacly one. Cause this would be an excellent opportunity to kill it, wouldn't it? You know? What's the plan? I'll seek a few of the ADS cannons to one of my tools. Well, you've got El Grande's Nexomorphs outside, and then you shoot it with the, uh, the point defense cannons. That could be fine. That could be fun. Security request retrieved. Someone stop him! Second officer sheet. I need security. Be here right now. This one's coming. White. For Christ's sake. Step away from the control. We need our first officer. Captain Matthias is dead. The captain's dead. Vincent's security team is dead. Warning. Who's left? Step away from the airlock. That's an order. Who's left? Chief? A crew full of puny fanatics? Eckhart screwed us good, didn't he? Entering if a senior team deal. director could go that bad, Entering maybe the whole company's rotten to the core. Just like Aegis 7, you think C 
CEC won't send a rescue team for their precious planet, Cracker? Think twice. We just need to hold on. Yes. You probably should. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh God, you're gonna you're gonna put me on a fucking. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. All right. We're we're gonna be extra mean. I'm presuming the giant yellow light is uh, good. Uh, this is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Uh. Oxygen? 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 Nope. Oh, and you die instantly too, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, that's a rather swift death from oxygen uh, starvation, but uh, very well, video game, very well. See, I was thinking, like, okay, they're talking to me, so I'm going to wait until they're done talking before moving, because I figured I could just pop back inside of the thing, right? And I'd be fine. Uh, no. No, you, you, you cannot be fine by popping back into the thing, as it turns out. That's uh, it's not how video game works, which is unfortunate in extreme. All right, so let's make it a pinch more snappy this time, shall we? Pinch more snappy. Sinking targeting system. All right. Oh, right, E, 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 Jesus Christ. Right. Now there's gotta be some air here somewhere. Yep, there is. I should have just pushed forward. That would have been far more intelligent. Sinking targeting system. Warning. Hull integrity compromised. Really? Huh. Do you think it could have something to do with the enormous rocks currently impacting on us? And that's, I mean, I don't know, I'm like, I'm not a, I'm not a defense expert, but I think it might have something to do with that. It seems entirely feasible, in my opinion. Oh, hey, oh, you are baby, baby, you little sneaky baby bitch. I saw you there, you little bastard. Don't fucking scare me. Uh-oh. I think there's a baby still trying to scare me somewhere. Unfortunately for the baby, or fortunately for the baby, I'm a bit busy right now. Uh, Yellow sneak shit. They're back. The ADS cannons are online shipwide. Thank God. Thank the God indeed. No, thank Clark. Thank I Isaac Clark. Out. I think I figured out our next move. Get a hold of yourself, Isaac. Get a hold of my you little ungrateful shit. Come on, Isaac. Come on, come on, Isaac. Don't, don't be like that, Isaac. Well, come on, come on. Fix some more shit, Isaac. You lazy bitch. Come on. I feel like Hammond deserves to die. I feel like if Hammond gets eaten, that will be a very good thing. I feel like Clark Isaac should eat Hammond. I feel like it would be, frankly, all he would deserve.
I mean, that looked like awfully edited and choppy footage to me, but, uh... Oh, nothing behind me this time. She dead, chat. I have called it long ago. She dead. She not alive. Isaac will not be seeing his girlfriend. Isaac girlfriend dead. Isaac alone now, forever. What the fuck? Jesus! Of all the fucking enemies! Mutated things that meow like kittens. I don't like that. That's just terrible. Please don't do that anymore. I didn't like those. We don't need those enemies in our lives. We definitely don't need those anymore. Science provides bounty. That and undead monsters with scythe arms. That too. I didn't like those. Oh, hello, Bob. Your name is Bob now. It's a very unoriginal name, I know. That's kind of part of the reason why, Bob. You're a very unoriginal monster, Bob. I'm sorry, you're only the- you're just the big tank guy, Bob, and you're not even very good at that, Bob. You die really fucking fast, Bob. Really, seriously. Somebody pokes your little fucking cancer spots there for a bit, you just kind of fall over. You're not even that scary, actually, Bob. I got a little bit of size on you, but that's all you got, Bob. Like, Bob, you, you are a disappointment to the person who created you. You are a disappointment to your concept artist. Even the man who modeled you is sad that you couldn't kill more players, because you are a sad excuse for a necromorph, Bob. Seriously, the fucking squealy kitten things are more scary than you, Bob. Fuck you, Bob. Ah, right, now that we've given Bob an adequate cussing out. Alright, almost, almost a five hour stream. I, I think we're gonna call it there. Arch is sweaty now. Arch is very sweaty. Arch is poorly sweaty. Arch can see the sweat having formed on his mouse. To be fair, I've gotten a lot more into it now. I'm not as freaked out as I was initially. I was really fucking nervous there to begin with, but I... I got a decent grasp on the video game now. I'm capable of making progress without sitting on my ass and being frightened in a corner somewhere, which I'm quite, quite proud of, actually. Whew. So, uh... We'll do one more tomorrow. I don't know how long this game is, or how long it is to, uh, to get over with. Uh, let me see here. So, I do notice the uh, the chat, yes, is only 45%. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be no face cam here, boys. Let's see. So, 18% says no. 17% says empathetically no. 19% says empathetically yes. And 45% says yes. There's not quite the overwhelming positive reaction I'd hoped for. Actually, I preferred it was overwhelmingly positive or negative. Hmm. Hmm. 1,369 votes. That's a pretty good, uh, good general slice of the community, then. It's a little bit over 60% positive. Hmm. 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 Let's see, uh, who is streaming? That's a good question. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Redirect. All right, we've got uh, Kib, we always raid Kib. We've got Dev, we always raid Dev. Dev, and there's also Pancake and Rosa, hmm. Pancake or Rosa? Hmm. Well, we'll do Rosa. We haven't raided Rosa in, in ages, so we'll raid Rosa then. All right. I shall wrap it up there. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you uh, check out the video I released a few hours ago as well. Uh, we'll be raiding Rosa today, and we will probably be doing another stream of Dead Space tomorrow. And I'm aiming to try and wrap it up this week, so we'll have another one on Friday if we don't get 
done. And of course, thank you for your very generous, uh, do generous, very generous, your very generous donations. Yes, there we go. Your uh, patron, pat patronage, English, difficult language is much appreciated. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.